it's it's not it's not about that though. Like I thought she would have a little bit of uh, of something more unique to her going on, but there's really nothing unique about the character. That's, hey, that's hey, the I'm, I'm gonna let you finish, but um, uh, just want to let you know, um, we just started, so. We're, we're oh, yeah. oh, did you really do yeah. that? You did yeah. it again. <laughs> you did, did it again. Yeah. <laughs> did you do it on purpose? Just yes. be real with you. Uh, okay. right. 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 You did done. it on purpose. Okay. Let's it's too late. It's already happening. Yeah, it's, already it's already on. It's, already. So it's, it's on. Done. It's live. It's happening. It's and we're live again with our very awkward Sora intro. Yep. <laughs> he did it on purpose, by the way, people. Um, yeah, last time it was an accident. <laughs> or was it? Uh, anyway. It was just mistiming last time. So. <laughs> For those that didn't hear, we're doing the podcast. We're going to go over DID 10, phase four, Meatball, the event hub tier list, slash FSD tier list. And for the best kicker of the night, we're going to have the Is Tina Worse Than Elliot discussion, courtesy of Emperor Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> he, he has something against Tina. So we're all going to have, we're going to have a little talk about that because. Yeah. <laughs> We think he's crazy, but we'll get into that later. But we have Alan Paris. Yo. I'm not calling you King Armstrong. That's not gonna happen. So we have Sora. And <laughs> it's King Bass. King I'm not calling you King anything. Bass oh, Armstrong. And Emperor Kyle. I'm not calling you Emperor Kyle either. I'm calling Just you Kyle. Call me Matt. So I'm gonna call you Kyle. I'm not calling you Emperor anything. And I'm Ninja CW. And with that, we're going to get started. We're going to go over DID 10. Um, I think, who won? Oh, yeah, Manny won. And Sweet Revenge got who second. Won? There's just some no name? Yeah, it's that guy. <laughs> some new guy, man. Some new seen guy. This guy. He's, he's a new guy. You want to see him, man. Low tier. DOA master. Who got third place again? The, uh, the Zach player? I don't know who got who got. Oh. I, he got, I he thought he got third. Yeah, he third. did. Yeah, he got, yeah, he got third. third. That's, that's what All I thought Cal said. Yeah, I, yeah. I remember that the, the, the Zach player was really good. That was there, yeah. That's that was Hudless. Uh, yeah, that was that was really awesome to watch. Hudless is um pretty much an underdog, um too often. But he's been making strides though, man. He's been making his name known out here, man. Oh no doubt. Every, every time he's traveled thus far, he's uh he's put some people on their heels. He had I, I can't wait. I hope he makes it no, uh, to, the fall classic. Admit, I mean, his his performance was was uh, arguably one of the more like more entertaining uh, performances to watch, and he he, he I, I think he should be proud of of his result. Like, yeah, he, he did, I was. He really did well. I was hoping he'd take out um, Sweet Revenge. He he did it halfway. He didn't complete the job. He did it halfway. I think he got the um, character select uh, issue. Or he just um, decided to go character loyalty over um, better matchup. Uh, yeah. 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 That's what it looked like. It looked like he just really wanted to uh, that character. But that was an interesting tournament. I just want to talk about the finals a little bit, though. Because, <laughs> man, was those some interesting finals. <laughs> it was good stuff. Um, no joke. Uh, Manny, he just really uh he talked he did a lot of things that I said Genfu was weak to in that matchup. Well, just in general that he's weak to, which is just counter poking with highs, and throwing out high launchers. Like he's just so weak to it because yeah. he has he has no way to open you up. He has no lows, at least no real lows that you're going to be worried about. So he just tends to just and, you know it just yeah, get ran down. For the listeners, it. when he said you know counter poking with highs. Don't interpret that as mashing the high button. Like if you just press punch once, like and he does three P, it will not counter hit you. It will only hit you on normal hit, and at that point in time, he loses the advantage. And yeah, he has exactly. to, you know, yeah. He has That's to commit to the string counter, or yeah. something else, you know, something That's crazy. That's what he means by counter poking. A lot of players like they see him and they say button, 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 and then he says three P, and that's why you get counter hit because the game may register in your first attack. It's also picking up the several inputs that you're mashing behind it, yeah. which is why you're getting counter hit. In fact, uh, that matches up right now, and you can just see, man, he does it like just pretty much every single time he blocks something. Like Genfu, he's going to blow you up eventually. Like something, he's you're going to catch something. That's the nature of DOA. Yeah. Like it's just going to happen. But in general, he just was really good about okay, I block something, do a jab, or I block something, throw a kick, 
you know, whatever. Like eventually, you know, he Sweet Revenge makes like some raw reads, like very raw. It, it it wasn't even so much, you know, just anything else. He just made really strong reads against that. But the only thing I think he could have did a little bit better in the entire set was not do high parry. That's just awkward. I don't know. I, I've never seen nobody do high parries before, so. <laughs> but keep, mind, keep mind the two. They always are playing together. Yeah. Well, I mean, high parry in general isn't good because why would you do high parry if you could just counter and get the damage? Like, you're not even getting anything from the high parry except the same little goofy setup you're going to get anyway. Might well just take that damage, knock him down, and reset the situation, especially if you're confident in your every in everything else. But no reason that, um, yeah, Sweet Revenge was also coming off a, a first place win. At, uh... Yeah, well, yeah, that's what I was saying. He probably, you know, he won. He was confident. He was just chilling. You know, yeah. he, you know, he won. He got he got his free ride. So, <laughs> you know, what happens here isn't too imp- in, too important. It's just uh. Well, a lot of it was um. I'm sure he was nervous going into DIG10. Um, primarily because he's, uh, you know, had the win streak for tournament win streak, you know, and so going in, he was very nervous. And then once he lost that first, got knocked into losers, um, you know, it, it probably helped, uh, relieve him a bit. Yeah. Oh yeah. Reality kicked in. (laughs) Yeah. You know, it, it is good to lose before the big, for the, for the big tournament. That's good to lose. Yeah, I think uh, in any sport that you do, like going in something undefeated, it's like nerve wracking. Yeah, it, it really <laughs> is. Like, and then you mess around, and for all you sports fans out there, you would like the New England Patriots. <laughs> so, yeah, it's it's you know it's it's good if you, you take an L, not intentionally, but you know. Yeah. It's 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 healthy. But uh, yeah. So that was a that was an interesting set for me though. Oh, yeah. I liked that set, really especially to see him do. All the things that I was talking about in the set, oh, or in right. that specific against that specific character, because then once you start doing those highs, man, it just jacks that character up so hard. Especially since he doesn't have the infamous down for a P plus K anymore. Oh yeah, the blow through. Yeah, everything. Everything beats everything. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I love that move, man. That's his favorite. That was his favorite DOA move of all time. Down for a P plus K. Oh, yeah. Loved it. <laughs> DOA three, <laughs> best um, move ever. Yeah, as DOA three was matches, um, uh, beat, beat uh, everything uh, off the pickup. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you're just like you're like Bass. Bass is like, what am I doing? Pick you back up. <laughs> I'm at disadvantage, even though I'm plus eleven. It was good times. Um, but go ahead, Alan. Yeah. Uh, as far as the other uh, matches that took place at DID 10, were there any uh, notable ones that you guys uh, remember or like, want to discuss, or is just those top three that kind of stood out to you guys? I didn't even get home till the finals. I was at work. That was that was literally. Uh, I, I, I think I think the I think the hoodless matches were great. I mean, really? even even the ones where he like lost, I I really think he did himself proud. I, I think he. He was playing really well. Yeah, I spoke to him right after it. He he wasn't pleased. He wanted one of those top two spots, of course. So he was like, "No, nah, well, obviously, to and, yeah, I mean, you got to be hungry." Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I, I, like, like I would, I would, I'm like, I'm not gonna be surprised, like, if if he was like kind of angry at how he did. I mean, yeah. But it, it as like, an outsider well, looking in, I I actually think he did pretty well. Yeah. Overall, the um. I think part of it was because of the, uh, I think the announcement, the announcing, commentating was a, a little bit um, lower level than we tend to get. Um, so it was difficult to draw people in. But uh, when when Hoodless would come up to play, it was a, a really engaging just watching the game system being played, you know. So uh, I, I had, overall, I had a great time watching DID 10, um, but... I didn't really feel like that there was much to watch until they got near the end. Okay. In in a way I you know, I, I kinda felt like that too, watching like the last three matches of those, you know, of those three guys go at it. All the other matches that I kinda watched it was like, you know, I don't know why like, just the the spark wasn't there for me to, to watch it, like I don't I don't know why. Uh, just one of their moments, then. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, I'll, I'll I'll say this, and I don't want to like discourage players, but for me, it's like, um, I, 
now that I I'm also getting I'm starting I'm doing commentary like that uh, it helps me like watch quite a few sports it gets me into it like I'm not a really big fan of wrestling but like when my stepfather is watching it and I step into the room like whoever those guys are talking like they get me into it because it's like all right you know they're excited about something you know and they they're it's enthusiastic and they're sounding good and then it's like when you get the dry eyes for the clear eyes dudes you know they're on the commentary it's like all right I you know I know what's going on on the screen, but I don't want to watch it because, like, no one, you know, nothing yeah. being done to, you know, get me yeah. into it. Commentary really right. makes a big difference. Yeah. yeah. That's true. Well, I mean, you, you know, DID 10 is the first event in the uh, the road to, to Fall Classic. So right. it was really fun to see uh, a lot of players, even from the West Coast or um, or, or in, the, in the Midwest, to show up. Um, oh yeah. It doesn't they don't tend to get as many high numbers as the East Coast does, um, mm-hmm. but those who did represent uh, did did show up, uh, show the game um, overall pretty well, and you got some newcomers as well. Um, yeah, I think the West Coast was in the building too. Like uh, some guys from Cali came out. Yeah. Yeah, I think Wequiem was over there. Yep. Um, but yeah. yeah. Uh, so going from DID ten. Um, we have Summer Jam coming up uh, end of August, I believe. Um, yes, 29th. in Philadelphia, and it was free um, free entry, and uh, with the pop prize given by Team Ninja and uh, Big E Gaming, um, and I heard they already have over a hundred uh, pre-registration pre-registrations um, wow, for it. Nice. So it's going to be a That's packed event. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, and Team yep. Ninja is giving out all types of stuff, you know, for those who pre-register. Oh yeah, yeah. they're giving away some. Um, was it uh, character four unlock? Code. Yeah, phase four codes, I believe. Yeah. Phase four, oh, cool. Or oh, I think phase four or or, uh, or Mario, Mario Rose. Rose. Yeah. So. It's going to um, be a a really interesting tournament because a lot of people are going to be there. You know, it's yeah. rare, it's not, rare we get that many people only, for DOA. Not only that, I mean, this is going to be another one of those really rare international tournaments as well. Yeah. Like, you're gonna have people from different countries coming over, and that's that's something really big for DOA. I mean, oh, there was uh, in... there was one uh, foreigner who's coming to Summer Jam, and I forget which country which country he's from, but he's in like the Middle East, and um, really, yeah, and he uh, he's <laughs> Big E was saying that he uh, he has plans to show everyone how good his Tina is. His uh, Tina? Well, well, well. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Uh, Cow. Uh, well, you know, before right, before we go down into right. that road, uh, we'll, we'll just yeah. a side note, we'll bring back, we'll bring that back up. Um, you know, uh, so. You know his name? I can I can get it for you, but it, I don't think you would know it. Um, yeah, the, the the thing to keep in mind. Oh, they just announced this uh, this past weekend, yesterday actually. Um, at the Fall Classic, um, the Japanese champion is actually going to be attending. Um, he's flying over to participate in the Fall Classic. Um, yeah. So, yeah, uh, it should be a lot of fun. Yeah. There's a lot of international play coming, and I mean, it's going to be a to packed say, I mean, event. I, I played, I played Katsuki Ken firsthand, and I mean, I, I'm, I'm kind of one of the really lucky people that managed to play a lot of people from a different different parts of the world and i have to say katanin ken is, is pretty brutal he's i mean you guys got to keep an eye out for him um i know some people might disagree or might look down on the japanese or say some pretty weird comments on facebook but <laughs> you don't talk about um <laughs> I, I don't even know what's going on anymore but i really think uh, i'll send you that... what he said they shouldn't be underestimated because I mean you gotta understand also that they have uh, and like a 24/7 outlet right now where they get to have continuous offline play nonstop and those people man they're addicts man they they play the game they study it inside out and and Katsunin Ken is probably on the top of that list of Japanese players that really really do the like doing their research. He's also, for the record, he also does a lot of testing for the game. Um, he's what? So he's breaking he's, up. He, he's he one of the people little... that... 
a lot of testing for the game. He's done a lot of testing. Like the he character was also, balance. Uh, for, yeah, for me and he was also like, one of the guys. Uh -huh. He was also one of the guys that was involved in writing the uh, Japanese guide, the last Japanese guide that came out. So he's no slouch. Um, uh, I, I, I'll say this, like all of that, it sounds good, but uh, I'm not going to say anymore because, you know, I, I feel the same way, you know, many, many uh, felt about it that, you know, I, you know I'm just going to, I'm just going to put that oh, out no, there. I, like, I, I, mean, I, I don't I mean, care. I don't care. You know, I'm putting hands on whoever. It's That's... good. It's, it's good to have that mentality as well. But at the same time, you, you shouldn't let the arrogance get to you because you <laughs> oh no i mean it's, it's 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 just competition like you know it, it's, yeah i mean of course yeah. of course there's gonna be some trash talk and of course you know at the end of the day may the best man win it doesn't really matter yeah. uh like like I, i'm just a guy in saudi arabia sitting here watching you guys beat each other up it's gonna be fun <laughs> for me uh, i don't really care who wins. Uh, but uh but all, all i'm saying I, i'm i'm expecting i don't want to say it no i'm gonna say it i'm expecting upsets are you saying um, upsets? Ah, well, you ain't expecting I'm no upsets expecting there. Upsets. Uh, you know, if, if it's up to me, he's going home with them ales along with anybody else. <laughs> well, let's let's just wait and see how it goes. I mean, yeah. well, I mean I keep in mind, um, last I'm year's really Fall Classic. To this I'm really but, looking yeah. forward to how it turns out. Last year's but, Fall Classic, I'm, the top I'm, 16 was I'm actually also uh, hoping, uh, pretty I'm also hoping um, packed. Uh, makes it. Like the. the <laughs> The top 16 was actually pretty packed, and uh, I, I remember everyone in each pool was saying, man, I got the death pool. And <laughs> I'm like, but everyone has the death pool. That's what happens when you have <laughs> so many high-level players in one tournament. Yeah. Like, there was people who typically make, like, top eight who were knocked out at, like, top 32. You yeah. know, they just didn't make it into the top 16 because there was like three of the three three people who could arguably, if not number one, be be number one seeds, uh, were number two seeds. You know, and it just it just was packed. <laughs> but there has to be some people in top 16 eventually, and people will yeah. get it eliminated. But that was that was no easy bracket for anyone uh, after the top 16. Well, I mean, I'm, go ahead. I'm just hoping Gehakbal gets to make it as well because you guys have to see. I mean, like, don't count Europe out because he. I mean, you guys, you guys saw his performance in ROF, how he, you know, uh, matched up against, um, you know, Sweet Revenge. Uh, yeah. And he, he's, he's, he's quite solid as well, and he does have a lot of characters in his arsenal, like not just the Jan Lee and the Rachel. Uh, he 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 does have a lot of character. He does play a lot of characters. He's he he's a he has a very very strong Zach. And I would I really really hope he can uh, he can represent Europe as well, like uh, in, in T uh, TFC. That would be good. Because that would be like that would be the official real like first time ever you know internet real international tournament where you have everyone from around the world like the best of the best. I would love to see that. Like, uh, and I, I heard that Sweet Revenge, uh, like, you know, uh, made like some sort of a fundraiser to, to help Kahakbal come to TFC. Uh -huh. And I would really like to encourage people to, to kind of help, help out because it would really, you know, mean a lot for the whole community and it would really, uh, yeah. you know. I think that fundraiser would, is ending soon. And uh, honestly, Sweet Revenge hasn't um, been promoting it enough, <laughs> as much as I would expect. Well, well that's why we're here, um, man. Yeah, uh, I just don't know the link. Here. So. Yeah, I mean, I, I really, I really would, would like would hope that people would like try and help uh, Gehakbal, you know, come to the tournament because, I mean, he is arguably one of the best in Europe. Yeah. I like the I like what I saw when I watched him play. He did really yeah. well. Uh, uh, sorry for the up, like... for the poor commentary at the time, but you know I I was on my own. There was no one really with me. <laughs> so, it's okay, yeah. man. It's okay. It's okay. Man. What do you uh, What do you guys think about um the increase of uh, players asking for uh, funding from the community to make it to tournaments? <laughs> so, yeah. I, I mean, obviously, yeah. it's been growing because it's you, been working. 
Fuck. All right, let's go this one at a time, everybody, because okay. it's going to get crazy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll, can I yeah, go for it? Okay. All right. I, 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 I'll, I'll go first, man. Like, how how I see it is, it's, um, oh, it's for, for me, okay, and realistically, this is a hobby. So if you're asking for funding and whatever it is that you're doing, like in your personal life to where you can't get and support your hobby, like, I mean, honestly, I feel that you should take care of what's at home first before you say, you know, give me money so I can go have fun. Ultimately, you know, that's that's just the way I see it. I mean, it works. People ask for funding and they get it all the time. But to me, honestly, you know, you take care of home first, you know, um, because if, if you're education. having whatever issues, you know, at home to where you can't make it to a tournament, those issues are still going to be there when you come back from home. So to me, honestly, it's like, you know, take care of your priorities first and then support your hobby. Um, now, me personally, would I support a player? Like, no, I don't have money like that. You know, I'm trying to do enough at is to get myself at e at events. So, you know, at what I do it, no. But you know, I'm, that's just my two cents on it. All right, go ahead, okay. uh, uh, Kyle. Yeah. Well, the way I see it, I mean, you gotta be somebody that will probably be a game changer. Like, you know. Like to actually, you know, like if, if you, if somebody's going to basically start a fundraiser for a player, that player has to be somebody that is really going to basically change the face of the tournament or has, a, has the potential to change the face of the tournament. Otherwise, there really is no point. Um, that's the way I see it. I mean, like, you know, not, not just some any random Joe asking for fund funding, you know, like. I mean, of course, it's really nice to see a lot of people get together and, and you know, in, in one little, you know, area, like, you know, everybody you know, doing what they like uh, and, like, you know, meeting people that share the same interest. That's all, like, you know, nice. I'm trying to be very polite here. No, I mean, <laughs> but, yeah, I understand. No, yeah. but, but at the same time, at the same time, if it, just like Alan said, like, I think... I mean, if you can't do it yourself, um, then, you know, like there's, it's, it's really not, I mean, you got to set your priorities straight, but if, but in the way I see it, if you are a person that can definitely change the face of this tournament or like, you know, like for example, someone like Hakbal or someone like Katsuninken, they are the top of their region. Now, the way I see it, instead of a fundraiser, uh, it would have been better maybe if, let's say the prize of the tournament that they won would be the plane ticket for example mm -hmm. uh yeah that would make a little bit more sense like um but at the same time uh that didn't happen uh and tfc is kind of building up to become the biggest doa tournament out there like uh, this year and for that specific occasion, I would say, yeah, I mean, if every region supports their top player to come to that tournament to represent them, then yeah, that, that would be awesome. Uh, but, but like I said, it has to be a, char a player worth a character, a player worth, you know, investing in, in a sense. Okay. Okay. You got anything you want to say, Matt? No, no, I just want to get everyone else to take. Um, okay. I'm pretty much in the same boat where, um, one, uh, they may not just have, they may not have any home issues, but might just have like money making issues um, or have a, a small grassroots community. They might just not be able to get funding um, locally or in other ways at, the, at their current point in life. But, um, you know, in general, I think it makes sense for more of a, a regional or a higher more ex more well-known player uh who making it over like i think that's sort of a sort of what of um katsunik was saying in his uh quote where he was like i don't want to owe anything to the american players it was a way to say like i don't need anyone to go ahead and pay for yeah. my flight or i like that actually i, I, I respect that yeah <laughs> 
Okay, um, that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, the way I see it is, if you want to do it, go for it. Like, if people want to just give you their money for free, and they're going to keep giving you their money for free, if you ain't get, like, yeah, like if you ain't get yeah. no, if you ain't get like no, I don't want to say morals, but I, I just want to say like if you just don't, if you don't have that that kind of, a lot of people have like a kind of a self a, a pride, and they don't want to ask people for money. So if they can't go, oh well, they're just not gonna go. They're right. not gonna ask anybody for money. But if you don't have that little that clicker in your head that tells you not to do that, then hey man, by all means, man. <laughs> go well, ask. I mean, people. I, I would say, um, uh. There's no set rule on um, yeah. really how much of the um, donation pool that Free Step Dodge gets, um, where it goes to, but um, generally it has a high priority towards um, helping attendance of uh, tournaments, whether that be uh, cash prizes, uh, you know, uh, pop bonus, or uh, even helping out those uh, well-known players like. Like I think uh, I used uh, a chunk of it to help Sweet Revenge get to ROF. Um, mm-hmm. So it's like it's on a case by case basis, exactly. but um, you know, just any donations that the site gets, primarily it's used back towards the community as like a right. one giant pool. Exactly, um, that's good stuff. Though. After the website, of course. I mean, that's good stuff though. But like, even then, like, Reven- a lot of the Sweet website Revenge to uh, oh. France was a good thing. A lot of the Overall. website um, expenditures, I still will pay out of pocket if I don't have the donations, or I want to I want to set aside the donations towards, um, like helping a well-known player make it over to a big event. Yeah, like so. It's, like I said, account. like some days yeah, I'll see. I'll use the pool towards the website, um, but most times it's something to help the community more than just paying like the server bills or something like okay. i can argue i can argue and say i'm the top of my region because there's no one else playing there <laughs> well you are the only one on the player base map <laughs> i'm the only one man i'm the only one like i'm the only dot in saudi arabia that, right now are you the only one in the middle east well yeah there's like one guy in kuwait i don't know who he is. <laughs> I, I just looked at it a while ago. Like, there's this, right. just me and that guy. How, how does it feel being, so being have to the have top like player in the Middle East, Cal? Sort of a, have to have sort of a two-man tournament and decide who's the top player and maybe start a fundraiser to have one of us come there. <laughs> I was like, how, how does it feel to be the top player? Like, you go outside right now and say no one else is better than you in DOA in the Midwest right now. You, like, hold that down over there, man. I would love I to be challenged. Be My goodness. Yeah. <laughs> My like, goodness. I would love to be you right now. <laughs> no, man. It's upsetting. It's upsetting. I would rather be an average mid player with a lot of players than being a top player on my own. It's like training <laughs> training for DOA 3. Like, <laughs> all you have is you and the computer in yeah. training honestly, mode. That's honestly, it. All, I have, all I have is training mode and doing those videos to keep my sanity. Because, right. like, you know, I, I like, I main basically the videos that I make are, are my way of training because it's the only way I can learn the matchups by, my own, by, by myself. Like, I have to study each character inside out to figure out what, how they work, what's safe, what's unsafe, what links, what doesn't, in order to basically, you know, know how to deal with them when I actually end up facing them. You know, and I want to add one more thing to my comment about the uh, the um, looking for funding, um, or community support, or whatever, okay. and um, community funding. And so, I think from what I've seen, um, each of the people who've asked for uh, help, I don't think any one of them were feeling like, oh, I'll just get someone else to pay for it. You know, I think they legitimately were like. Hey, I have a reason to be at this tournament. Um, I just don't have the cash right now. And is there anyone else there who my friends can pitch in 20 bucks or whatever to see if they I, they can help me get to the tournament and show my stuff on stream? Oh, I mean, I'm not doubting yeah, the, the reasoning back behind anyone doing it. I'm just saying, like, 
you know, you know that that's cool and all, but I, you know, I guess you, it's one of the things where you just have to watch players. If it's one of those things to me in my eyes where it's like a habit, like yo, you keep asking to go to a tournament because of whatever issues are going on at home. It's like, you know, priorities need to be set at that point in time. Right. But then you 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 know you want to use the money to buy new DLC like uh, Phase Four. Right. <laughs> and all the outfits. Wow, what a transition. Yeah, what a tra- All right, let's just transition again before it gets weird. <laughs> let's just go with uh, the new character, Phase 4. Uh, I've been hearing a lot of sadness about this character and how, yeah. how and, we're going to just I, stand I know, there. And I, block. I know why the, where the sadness is coming from, but, you know, I'll, I'll let you go ahead. No, no, yeah. go, go ahead, Alan. You yeah, go you ahead. go ahead, Alan, man. You oh, got this, man. The, you got this. The sadness, you sound determined. The, sad, the sadness comes in, like, the character actually takes... Uh, a certain skill that no offense to the players, but I, I see it oh, when they man. play oh, is man. hit confirmation. Oh, like man. players <laughs> do not have it. So they go oh, in and it's man. like Ace Four dropped. I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna hit all the buttons, and then they play her, and it's like, wait, how come all that pretty stuff in the videos aren't coming out? And it's like I took her in the sparring mode like five minutes and was like, oh. They're gonna say she sucks immediately. <laughs> it's like no, like that stuff actually takes execution. So it's pretty much happening. It's like okay, it's taking a lot of execution to drop someone's life fifty percent. You know what? She sucks. I'm going to go back to what I was playing. So that's why she sucks. The character takes ex- hit a, um hit confirmation, which players lack. So she sucks. Well, it's like I, I brought up um before we started the podcast about how when she came out. And, and this happened to Marie Rose as well. People were like, yeah. oh, this character sucks. She's so unsafe. And then, like, I remember even seeing a post about someone who said, I just defeated five uh, Phase 4 Kasumis by throw punishing. I'm like, good job. <laughs> you can do that with anyone in the cast. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You can basically, a... every every character can be just throw punished. You just have to know what to throw punish. The only difference is that with Phase 4, it's a bit more obvious. Yeah, uh, yeah, all of it. Yeah, and it's it's because if you if you are familiar with Kasumi, you're familiar with Phase Four. So all you have to do is sit and say, okay, I blocked this. There really aren't any follow ups after it, or it's just a singular move thrower. That's you know that's all it is. And like Matt says, I don't know why you know players haven't applied that thought process to all the other characters and actually throw punish them. But you know, you know, for the most part, you know, you know, Phase Four is going to continue sucking until a player. You know, I know someone that's actually playing with her that's going to do some damage. I'm not going to say no names, but, um, yeah, that, that's all it is. Like, she she takes precision to play with, and you have to know when and where to hit buttons. Yeah. Because, she, you know, she's not going to string characters to death, unlike Kasumi Infinity. and Alpha. Yeah. 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 Anyone who's playing Phase 4 yeah. is, is, like, yeah. in, instinctively looking at her is like, oh, it's a Kasumi clone. So yeah. we'll just yeah. play her like Kasumi. Like, no, yeah, like, they actually tried making uh, an individual yeah. skill set between the yeah. two. That's exactly what I was going to say. Like, Team Ninja, you know, that they made it a point to do that, you know, back when they well, when they saw us playing uh, DOA 3 and DID uh, 7. It's like, you know, they brought back the, the characters being individuals. So when you see these characters in the game, don't say, oh, I see Kasumi. I'm going to play Kasumi. No, it's Phase 4. Like, I remember, I remember that. how to uh, play Phase 4. <laughs> I remember Shimbori and, and Hayashi looking at DID7 and just looking at the, all the the costume mods on uh, yeah. the UA3. <laughs> like you had uh, it had Jan Lee as uh, Kakashi and um, uh, Fist of the North Star, Ken- Kenshiro. Oh, yeah, <laughs> and they just favorite. burst out laughing because of the same voice actor. I think the other thing people don't know about uh, Phase 4 is that she has a, a lot of auto strings, like where they just they just go. Yeah. Like her punch, punch, punch. That's an auto string. Like once you hit that third punch, you can't you can't stop it unless it hits and you do the cancel. Like it doesn't do anything. You can't you can't change the course of it, and it's unsafe. Period. Same thing with her forward punch kick. Like there's there's no mix up whatsoever. Like her up kick on block, they just they can't be canceled or stopped in any way or free canceled. And I think What's that's it? just. Hmm? Yeah, I'm saying it was, it was it was a lot like when Marie Rose came out. She. Uh was initially said, oh, this character sucks. She's so unsafe. Uh, yeah. right. Her strings are terrible to delay. But then, like, three days later, it's like <laughs> she has the best fucking sidestep in the game. And yeah. I think, I Which think is just a free step. 
Anyone well, yeah, who played but... DOA three would have been like, "What you 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 what you find this shocking?" <laughs> and <laughs> people are gonna, gonna go ahead, Evan. Sorry. Yeah, I was gonna say, and and just touching on her, although we spoke about her last time, it's something that I realized. Like I played Rakuto recently with Mary Rose. It was like at first I was doing fine. And you were then, Mari like, or he was? Oh, I was. I was. Okay. I was Mari. And and uh, like he started, you know, like dominating the matches, and I'm like. All right, I'm struggling, which means from my, you know, knowledge that I, I've been playing DOA is that when you're playing a character and you're noticing that you're struggling and the player that you're playing against is, you know, not better than you, you two are fairly equal, then you're doing something wrong with the character. So it's like I'm sitting there and it's like, okay, what am I doing wrong and what is he doing? And then, you know, one thing led to another one was all said and done. I'm like, I know exactly what I'm doing. This character is not an offensive character. So the entire time at first, I was able to string Rakuto left and right. And then, you know, as the matches carried on and it's like, okay, Alan, you can no longer string me anymore because she doesn't have the strings to do so. So now how are you going to beat me? And then, you know, one thing led to another. Like, he ended up posting a video on YouTube. I found it hilarious is that he got that stupid and damn dervish throw on me six times in a match. And it's because I started freezing up because I didn't know what to do with the character anymore. So I got thrown six times in a row. And I'm like, all right, well, something has to change. So then, I, you know, I sat down and I looked at the character. And I'm like, okay, she has offensive, I mean, um, she has offensive holds and advanced holds. So, um, so I started, you know, looking at it like, okay, she doesn't have a bunch of strings. So it's like, all right, so a good amount of defense needs to be set into play here. And again, just looking at <laughs> the average DOA player nowadays, you know, defense is not in their category. So again, you know, that strike one against her. Okay, she sucks because I have no strings to, you know, do anything with. And just overall, like, I feel like Mary Rose is supposed to open you up with her strings just as much as Bayman is supposed to open you up with his strings. Like, <laughs> you're not supposed to do But I can still open him up better than Bass. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why does all yeah. turn into something about Bass, man? Why? Just, I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying, like, it, in Mary Rose, you know, defense, no, no pun intended, like, you need to have a defensive mindset. Like, for anybody that plays, say, if you're really proficient at playing Lei Fang and you're interested in Mary Rose, you should be able to make that transition because the characters are similar in the sense that it's defense first and then you string. Yeah. I don't yep. So, yeah, and, that's and just to... like Mary Rose does not suck. She's a fairly solid character. It's going to take someone who's un who understands defense and how to hit the right amount of buttons. Well, that's what's, it's hard though because most of the experience comes from online play. And right. yeah. generally, unless you play with a, a set group of people that play offline, then it turns into a string fest. Like, yeah, I've recently just started playing online again. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, I am. <laughs> it was a bad, it was a bad idea. It was like, <laughs> my, my, my IQ drops 20 points every time I get online. Well, well especially if you have no one near you. So yeah, you I can understand so, yeah. that you're, you you know what you're getting into. Like over here, it's deceptive. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you get so used to it. I mean, I was playing against a bass player, a uh, lo local Maryland player, um, online. Uh, we're like literally 25 minute drive from each other, and it was just late at night, so we couldn't meet up. But uh, <laughs> he like doesn't attack. He's minus seven. I decide to do neutral grab for frame, and I get high counter blown by his 18. No, no, no. I did. I did. A, I did six P after he's minus seven, and he still outbeat me with his six P. So it was like, you, <laughs> I, I, it's, no, it's, it's like gonna hurt my head. Bomb it's gonna hurt my bomb head. Bomb I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to get you all riled up, man. Now he's feeling. Now he's feeling the burn over. He, I'm giving him nightmares and everything, man. He's like, okay, we're done here. But I was just playing because I just wanted to see how everything was. And uh, I wanted to play with Face Warp because I really like her a lot. Yeah. I, I like poofing everywhere. And I'm just doing stuff to people. <laughs> and they just like, they don't block. And I'm like, man, I'm going to kill you in like two combos if you don't block. Like, right. <laughs> like Face Warp, people don't know. It's just a lot better than people take credit. Like, you know, give credit. Uh, that character's crazy. Yeah. She is nuts. She's she is nuts. She does fifty percent on like instant yeah. combos. Like it happens like in a flash of an, in a blink of an eye, and you're like, Just, "Where did my life bar go?" Her her quarter circle forward throw, man. It's not even that. Like just the mirror, 
the fact that she can have so many different mix-ups from so many different angles with kicks, mid-kicks, high-kicks, jabs, thing, and mid-punches. One thing I noticed a lot of people not doing is that when you do, uh, for example, the teleport cancel, regardless of which teleport it is, a lot of people go for either the punch or the kick or, you know, in the, in the, in the ground version, the P plus K. But people seem to forget that there is another option, which is doing absolutely nothing. Yeah, you don't have to do you anything on her teleport, You can teleport and then do nothing, either bait out a hold, go for the throw, or actually just teleport and continue with another string, completely different string. Well, the people thing is... Well, people are mashing that. the punch attack. Yeah, they're ma either stuff. mashing the punch or... Uh... <laughs> like, like, Cal, you At least online. When I, was, and... when, I, when I came in with the introduction of it, like, they lack hit information, so... You exactly. Know, when they teleport, it's like, okay, let me do this. This is what I should be doing. And then it's like, oh, that got held or that didn't work. You know, she does have several other options, but because it actually it takes actual hit confirming, it's like their exactly. minds isn't processing saying, okay, let me do this. It's, They're on it's probably, autopilot. Yeah. Yeah. Just less, on you know. autopilot. You it's can't like, play her like that. You but, can't but, go but, on Okay, her. time to time to teleport. Okay, I'm gonna do this punch because you know, yeah. It's just it's hard to grasp that kind of a character. Like yeah. one one thing one thing that I've been like personally doing, like you know, when you start the, the stun and you end with, for example, three uh, P teleport into uh, critical burst. Instead of going for the three P teleport uh, into burst, I would go three P teleport, wait for that hold, then go for the burst. <laughs> you know. Well, her teleport burst is like borderline crazy. Like the chances <laughs> of you countering that is slim to none. Like it had. Oh like no! I've been, I've been, I've been held. Uh, that I've been like uh, playing offline. I've been held quite a few. With times. who? Who were you playing <laughs> offline with? I thought we were discussing. Yeah. <laughs> we'll say the AI. They read Yay. buttons now. Oh my God! Cal, listen to me. What? I I'll tell you right now, from all my experience with DOA, when I know a setup, oh my goodness, especially a stun <laughs> setup. After I did this setup, I was like, no one's ever going to counter this until I hit him with it like the fifth time. And because no one like, tells the other characters. It's gonna be it's gonna be a blind guess when they counter this because the way I do it, it happens in a very it just happens in a very strange type of way. You would have to see it to understand what I mean. The way I do it's, it. It's so funny. It's so funny that the you know Phase Four and DiCaprio from you know Ultra Street Fighter Four they're both teleport based and they're both very hard to react to because. The character shows up with the move. It's not like another character with. Well, not to get into too much in Street Fighter, but DiCaprio, her teleports, they're all, well, at least the ground pounds, they're all unsafe. And no, no, I, I'm just talking about unsafe. If we want to talk about unsafe, they're both unsafe. But, like, both characters are. But, like, it's, it's not, that's, that's not the point. The point I, I was trying to raise is that reacting to the teleport is actually really. It's not as easy as reacting to a character that doesn't teleport. Yeah, nobody like would. you really gotta know like the options. What? Like, it's yeah, either this or that. Um, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, I'm just saying it, she has a lot of uh tricky ways to get into her teleports in high pressure, very high speed situations that I haven't even seen anybody even try to use yet. Like they use them in a way where it's kind of telegraphed. Like, you see how much you've been stunned, and then they're like, okay, he's probably going to do this. Like, I've already started doing it into a, well, using her uh, teleports in a kind of a a freestylish way within stun in ways that you can't even really slow escape it or anything like that. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, the interesting thing. Go ahead. Hmm? Go ahead. Oh, it's just a. Uh, it's going to take players a while to get used to using a character like that. There's, there's, no, there's no character like this in DOA that, uh, hit you, stunned you, well, that stunned you, and then can either launch you or go for some kind of teleport mix-up, uh, or hit teleport mix-up, I should say, where you're just kind of forced to just make a choice, like, period. You have to make a choice. <laughs> like, from her uh, teleport above your head from 66K, like, there's no way to tell exactly which button she pressed if she pressed one at all. There's just no way. And that, not to mention, her sidestep attack is out of this world because... You just get sit down stunned. Like really, like six down stunned, and then you take a six p. And now we're now we're really gonna guess. That's how you're gonna do me. Like if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, after that sit down stun, I think you can do six six k. Yeah, you can. 
You can do 6 6k and then still do another teleport mix up. I just like to do 6p because you're pretty much at guess my critical burst and get ready to die mode. <laughs> like, because like all her combos, like it ranges from like 30% to 50%, period. Now the, yeah, the reason I go for, for the 6 6k is that sometimes I notice that when I do the sidestep punch, the opponent's a bit far. Like it has, it's a bit funny. So, so it is. Six, well, that's why. Well, six P just all. Yeah, six six K will will always hit. That that's the reason I go for it. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, it's just she does a lot of uh, a lot of damage, and I think that it's going to take people a while to get used to using that type of a character, especially considering she doesn't have any strings at all, and <laughs> yeah. the and the ones she do have, they're like unsafe, like on block, like it's just an easy mode punish. It's going to take people a while to get used to it, strictly because. It looks like Kasumi, and you can cheat and pick like the little bootleg Kasumi costumes. <laughs> so that's like cheating. <laughs> I think that's honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. That should be banned. That's not fair. <laughs> oh, oh, picking, yeah. You can't pick like costume three and four because you're like, oh, I'm just fighting Kasumi. And then like she poofs, and you're like, hold on a minute. Wait, what? <laughs> so now you're waiting for strings that's never gonna come. It's <laughs> always. Yeah, so I mean, you're standing uh, there waiting for stuff, and nothing's happening. You're like, aren't we playing Kasumi? And then you lose, and you're like, oh, he's playing phase four. It's too late now. She like always wear that hood, man. Yeah, you have to. I think. Uh, I mean, I'm kind of joking. Yeah, but hood is kinda awesome. Serious. I'm kind of joking, but I'm kind of serious at the same time. Like that's a little crazy to me. Like, uh, I I don't like because because when when I was introduced to the game, like I was so used to seeing her. Because I said when I play her and people use it, if I'm using Kasumi, somewhere through the match, I get confused on which one I am. <laughs> Until one of us teleports, and it's like, all right, I know which one I am now. Well, luckily, exactly. they don't they don't play. Anything like the other. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, that's pretty much the character in that show. I'm not going to get into too much super, super detail. We'll be sitting here talking for the next three days. <laughs> but uh, I'm well, going to do a tutorial on her soon, though. Well, keep All mind. I'm going to say is that, you know, people shouldn't underestimate her. Yeah, you shouldn't really underestimate yeah. any of these characters uh, in this she, version of the game. She's a lot better than people think. Yeah. A lot of yeah. these characters are pretty good in this game. Even well, I think Genfu is buns, but that's just me. <laughs> He's always been that though. Like <laughs> well, I mean, the, the good, beginning of I DOA think... is always like the, the beginning of each new DOA. It's always like, okay, how long can we last before everyone starts picking Ganfu? I think yeah. he's good. I, I, honestly, I think he's. Good. I just don't think he's that dang good this time. Like without down four P plus K man, I just he's a lost soul to me without that button man. He doesn't need it anymore. <laughs> because three P, like the. Before, you could only really throw out jabs to check him for 3P, 3P plus K stuff. Because you don't want to get bust by 3P plus K. Because it's just going to stun you or it's going to launch you. And it has a follow-up even if you block it. So it's like, come on, man. But now, he has down 4P, which is which is still good. Like, I'm not saying that's a bad move or anything. But I don't know, guys. I just, I'll just stand there. I'll take all the loops in the world. I, I would rather gamble on one of the low damage loops. And go for a yo like if I was playing bass, I would literally stand there. He would have to throw me all day. I wouldn't do <laughs> anything. Cause he has no lows he's gonna hit me with that I'm that I'm scared of. Draw yeah, disadvantage not, on him. Yeah, is that and then and then the ones that uh he the lows he do hit me with, I'm like, oh I get to finally I get to hit a button <laughs> and try something. <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? I'm and laughing because starts, it's true. And then he starts <laughs> throwing you and you're like, whatever. He's not gonna stun me though. So you just stand there and wait forever. And then he finally goes for like some YOLO type throw and you're like, 8K. And you take like half his health. Seven K, like, you know, whatever, whatever button you want to press that knocks launch. him into the air. Two, you know, the, two, one, the launch P. button. You know, that's the button you press. Like we used to do it in DOA four. Oh man, he's gonna throw me. Just do like YOLO four free free plus K. YOLO AP. Yeah, you know, so just do, YOLO bullhorn. You know, just do it. <laughs> Get him in the air. You know. I have nothing else to lose. It's easier. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but see, back then though, you couldn't really you couldn't really block getting food back then, man, because. He just be coming at you with the crazy stuff. Everybody heard that game, but in this game, like Bass is a super heavyweight, so he's getting he's gonna get lower damage. If he does a loop, I'm okay with that too because he's still gonna get low damage, and I'm gonna just block. Like I'm just going to block forever because I have nothing to fear. And when he does something that I think he might try to parry, if I'm a faster character, I'm gonna jab or throw a kick. Period. And if he starts parrying that, I'm still sitting there saying, "Thank goodness he's not holding that." Because I can still block after this stupid mix-up. Like, thank goodness. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm well, still thinking... I don't have that mindset, Chris. It's well, like, you know... It's, I just want to think it's a, it's, a, it's a lost thing in this game right now since, a, you know, a, 
they well, don't really play with the kind of it's, they don't think that way. I it's guess. so good that they um, balanced out the water stun in the early days of vanilla. Oh yes, um, yeah. <laughs> the, the glory days of the DOA water stun. three, <laughs> air throw six P guaranteed into slip stun. I'm like, oh my god, this is gonna be painful in DOA yeah. five. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know, it sort of segues into the next thing we want to talk about, which is the um, community communities. Uh, tier lists uh-huh. um, that are from uh, event hubs and free step dodge both different ways of doing a tier list and both having pretty much d- s- close to close to but far enough um, differences between the two yeah it um, just yeah. Uh, I, I, w- so, I like so, where, can, where can we see the free step dodge one sorry like, where can you see the free step dodge one, one? Yes, is that where you said? Oh, I just realized what you said. Yes, <laughs> where is the free step dodge one? I'm it's in the DOA five down. system yeah. discussion well, I mean, I mean, form. Yeah, I was just like, yeah, but, but I mean, that, there's a whole big ass thread. I mean, I, I'm looking for the actual, the <laughs> actual list. Like you've been asking a lot lately, Kyle. Man. Like the first, we're gonna, the we're first gonna post of the thread is updated with the latest posting of uh, whenever I got it. Um. Hang on, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the thing so that everybody watching can also follow us because I'm sure I'm not the only one who doesn't know where the hell it is. You're lying. All, all I see is a long ass thread and not knowing like where the and hell. If you go to the first fudging. Wow, he brought it out. <laughs> the he first post. If you go to the first post, you'll see the most recent um, reading of the tier list. So DOA five system discussion. Are we really doing this right Official now? Tier like, list. This is really happening right now, isn't it? Like, seriously. It, it, it is. It, it definitely is. Dude, it's 3 a.m. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just, I don't know. I'm just trying to understand what's happening. I don't even know what's going on anymore. Well, for everybody that's listening, this is a good chance to learn how to navigate the site. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and for Kyle's helping you guys out, like, just tremendously tonight. I clicked well, the link to find uh, the other okay, link named it. after the link I'm it. looking for. Just so y'all know, he linked it into two different places for him, just to ensure his success. Everybody should just donate right. a dollar to Sora right now because nobody would do nothing like that for anybody. Let's just be serious. I'd have let I ain't gonna let you. I'd have let Kyle just suffer. I'd have been like, "Yo, you gonna figure it out on your own time." Bro. <laughs> but that's just me though. But um, how much time we got left here? Um, oh, I found it. I found it, dude. Oh, that's oh, fine. Yeah, that's yeah, cool. yeah. Just had to scroll cool. down the chat box. Yeah, he he's bad. Um. Let's talk about that tier list on event hubs, man. I like yeah. it. We got, I, I, I'll say, I, I like it, clicking it's cool, stuff. It's cool to, to see it, but at the same, I don't like it because it's like those characters are in their position because people, like you say, I'm clicking on it. Look, I ain't gonna lie to you. It look like it's an order of sexiness almost. <laughs> but, <laughs> like, you know, most of the guy characters, man, it starts getting, it's a lot of guys getting down there, man, at that bottom <laughs> side. But that yeah. top five, though, woo, yeah, sexy, it's sexy, sexy. First of all, Genfu is not number four. Unless they just change. I'm looking at it right. Don't you lie to me. <laughs> Don't be lying to me. Oh, shit, you're right. All right. So, so... <laughs> hey, maybe they like his hat, but I'm just saying. It's a lot, yeah. of, it's a lot of fun going on this tier list. Um, I mean, when you, when you compare it to the Free Step Dodge one, I mean, okay, we have Genfu on top. Followed by right. Tide, which is bullshit. Throw that out there. I'm gonna let y'all know oh, real quick. That's bullshit. Well, that's <laughs> right. is not, he that's, is not number right. one. I'm just, I'm just trying to see the comparison here. We, whereas Event Hubs have Ioni and Christy on top as well, so they're not that far off. All right, but seriously though, Ayane is got like online, so I'm not surprised she's right there. Like you can't. Like I said, a high crushing yeah, yeah, speed like character with neutral screen, hits. She's the best character. A lot, like, a lot, of, a lot yeah. of the players. Ba- like you know, on event hubs would base the tier list based on their online experience because there's hardly any offline outlet. And online, Ayane's three P two K and six K two K. Those yeah, are natural. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, when I see facing that those, character those online, guaranteed. Sick. When, when I see forward kick, six K uh, kick, like I'm scared shitless. I'm like, I know this low kick is coming, but I'm, oh, like, yeah, I you don't know. know anything about you know, it. You know, it's <laughs> uncrouchable. It's uncrouchable. Unholdable. Yeah. That thing is guaranteed. That <laughs> thing is gonna hit you no matter you what. You think it's guaranteed it, until you go offline and then you realize yeah. it's about to be a I'm bad thing. I'm just saying, thing. like online, like yeah, she 
she's she's top tier. Like she holds the ranking at the top because I've seen players like literally go in with her and play her offensively strong as you would with Kasumi. And I'm like, you gotta be shitting me. Yeah, it's just like, a... it's and it's worse when she's played like that when she's allowed to. Because unlike Kasumi, it can get not it, only is it can get into your head. Hell, like she's you go... crushing everything. While beating you out. Okay, I have a better it, it way. It can get into your offline oh, yeah. mindset, even like you can start seeing the you you start like just giving up off, online when you see it, <laughs> and so when you go offline to play, you're like, yeah, I could hold that offline, and you just end up saying like, he's not gonna do it. It's it's oh my god, he did it. Well, he's yeah. not gonna do it again, and then. <laughs> Yep. I feel so sorry for that man. Like I just I can hear his tears every time yeah. he talks about the line. <laughs> and I'm laughing and I don't want to laugh at him, but he's just I'm, I'm laughing because it's true. It like you so go true. into the, the online <laughs> setting and then like like he's talking about you'll end up putting yourself in the dumbest mix up ever yeah. because you're so used to letting it hit you that you have to let it hit offline, you. Yeah, offline it's just like this is an actual legit mix up because yeah. I don't think you're going to do it and you're actually doing it and you've hit me with it so much that I'm in your I mean you we're in the Yane <laughs> zone now. All right, but let's just look at it from a different view instead of looking at it as they have it like top 1 2 three. Let's just look at their top 10. By, by the way, um I sent you guys in our in our own personal chat. Yeah. Direct link to where what the the recent updating to the FST what the status of the event hubs was at the time. Okay, all right, I'll click that now. All right, so we have top 10 for event hubs, which is more or less community rated. They got Ayane, Christy. We're not going to worry about the order, by the way, but you got Ayane, Christy, Kasumi, Genfu, Sarah, Helena, Leifang, Rig, Hayate, Jan Lee. Now, plus or minus a couple characters, I would say that's kind of accurate, even though they got Hayabusa at number 21. I think he's number one, but hey, that's just me. <laughs> That's just me. I don't think anybody else would ever agree with me. Even Manny himself wouldn't agree. He'd lie. He would lie. No, I, I was I, I, I was have, you have two believers with you. Myself and Ryujin, Chris. You yeah. got two believers. So. Okay. Man, Manny's, Manny's in, been, been in training. He's been working that dojo. Um, I know he found some stuff for Hayabusa. <laughs> yeah, but I just have to argue. It's like I really just don't see why we're having so much trouble again for i don't i'm not seeing it right now i'm not getting it they're pressing buttons yeah. i get that <laughs> i understand it <laughs> but why don't we stop pressing buttons have well we i mean it was, it was even able to be shown Genfu. at did yeah. i mean manny stopped like street revenge is well Genfu. i mean he did exactly what i said if you just stand there <laughs> And you don't give him a million counter hits every three. Like, if you say, he's gonna hit. Like, he's gonna get you. He's gonna get you. Like, it's gonna happen eventually. Like, once, once or twice, you're gonna get. He's gonna expose you. And you're gonna. But you gotta stay. You gotta stay strong. And gotta stick to the game plan. Manny, stick it's to the so game fun, plan. Though. And he, he's, I mean, he, he can do that. He has the he, experience. He blocks. He blocks something and was like, "Yo, punch or kick." That those are the only buttons he pressed out of like and, until he realized that I got him, he's parrying high. I got it. That's when you know. That's the that's the cue. Right. And he there. starts out guessing Shaye parry mid yeah. or parry high. Yeah, now, and now, you, it's now like, you're doing two different drop. parries. You know, so he's like, well, I guess I'm gonna start hitting the throw button now. <laughs> I mean, because Sweet Revenge is so he's so well. I won't say even say Sweet Revenge. Most Gen Fu players outside of the originals are so aggressive with the character doesn't even have anything to be aggressive with. I'm like, what are you doing? You gonna rush people down with four punch, 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 punch? Is that how we're gonna do it? Well, because no one's gonna punish uh, it. I mean, I mean, and I'm like, and you got the matchup on the thing right now, and what I'm watching right now is just blatant disrespect by Manny. He's <laughs> running forward and doing stuff. He doesn't even care. Look at that. That's when you know he's in the Manny zone right there. When he runs <laughs> up and he hits the hold, hold, that means he's feeling himself. He's feeling himself too. You gotta slow him down. And he not even trying. Like, he's just running at him, hitting the buttons. Like, it's done. Or even, like, <laughs> round one fight, you just yeah. have to guard. He's, like, he's, he's crouch dashing to 50-50. <laughs> right. And, and if you counter hit him, you he's technically in the down. air. So he falls he doesn't right away. respect you as a person. Because that's what DOA is all about. It's about right. respecting yeah. that person you sit next to. And it, it really is. is. It, in a sad, sick, twisted way. Yeah, it, it is. It's all about respect. Yeah, and it, it, yeah, pretty much the first person who cares first loses. Oh, my God. 
He's hitting him with some of the silliest stuff I've ever seen. I'm, my attorney yeah. finger. I can't He's just like, this is another like, day. That's just, I don't, I don't ever want to see somebody get knocked on the ground and then they run up to him and then try to throw him on his wake up. Like, dude. Like, no. 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 Like, dude, he don't, he don't even like you as a... Like, we can't be friends if you do that to me. And they're not regular throws. They're yeah. Zuna drops. It's like running up to a 12-frame throw. It's like, Zuna, dude. like, dude, there ain't nothing you could tell. That's like the most disrespect. This is the most disrespectful match I've ever seen in my life. Like, look at the look on his face. He's like, yeah, just get the match on. Come on. Come on. Hit, hit, hit the button. Let's Which, do this. I, I'm watching it live. Um on mine, but I think you're under the 10 second delay. It's cool. So, it's just... Yeah, I, I think just he's fighting say, Hodgins Shinobi right now. Yeah, he's fighting, oh, that's who he is? Okay, yeah. but you shouldn't let people do that to you. That's not cool. Well, Hodgins plays a very defensive Ayane, which is really how she's supposed to play, but right. once Manny's like, oh, you're going to be defensive? I'm just going to throw stuff out here. <laughs> yeah, with, with buttons that don't even make sense, though. Like, for real? You just ran up and did a 6PK and stuff? Just, what? It's like they were not going to punish the it. Best one, the best I guess one when, so, he ran right. up, when he ran towards him and he did the wild rising kick. Yeah, that's that was it's that out of control. Was way too sick. And then, <laughs> was right. too... but uh, concerning this, well, let me see. Let me look at the DOA. I mean, the FSD one real quick. They have a big jumble of stuff. All right, well, actually, I like this one. FSD better. one. Um... I like this one better to read because they have letters. I like letters. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. They have S. Genfu. I will put Genfu down a couple. I will put him in the B, honestly, because, damn, poor Elliot, though, man, forever alone. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 you know, at when when it, when the conversation oh, ends, yeah. like, you know, Kyle, Don't worry, we, we, have, yeah. we gotta ask Kyle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll talk to Kyle about this Elliot business, but we're we're gonna stick with this for a second. Um, let's All right, see. Sure, sure. They get their A, Christy, Ayane, Sarah, blah blah blah. Let's see. I think I really Sarah's think a little Akira too high. Is way lower than what he should be. I think Akira should be up there with Gen- like. Nah, you know, Akira, up, up he's, he's good, but he's buns at the same time. Like the game just. The way if the, if the game played, played a specific it way, he would yeah. be solid A. But yeah. the fact but that the actual game that doesn't play that way, and he has so much trouble getting into that area, yeah. that the, the area he where just he drops to down block. to B. It's like, he ha- he needs you to block. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're not going to, yeah. though. <laughs> he doesn't really have anything to do with that. He's like, he's like, what do I do? Like, he That's... won't block, and I can't hit him with my cool stuff. <laughs> that's that's why um like me and uh, Slybass we always go like fifty fifty because I actually block we're trying to throw punish and wait for my chance so it takes me a while to get used to someone guard breaking me into combos yeah it, so it just plays well with his person character just isn't going to do it they're you're gonna they're gonna yolo you they're gonna hit the buttons as fast as they can because he's but a killer I mean, even if Akira doesn't wait for the block oh he's very God. safe i'm done he is yeah. that's true yeah, he's safe, yeah but he doesn't really his problem also trouble opening you up and then like to make it worse he needs you to block like like that's that's that's, that's, mean, that's a recipe for disaster right he's there. <laughs> probably one of the only characters left with a good enough uh, little opener which is the uh three people's k that's like good. all the other characters that. with low openers, they, they pretty much lost their openers. Ayana lost hers. Uh, a lot of other characters. You can still hers. bust people with some down down free plus K with Ayana. Like you're gonna get hit by it because yeah, no, nobody wants to get bust in the face by four punch. <laughs> right. Like if she runs up to you and you duck, you're a pretty brave person, and I give you your respect. I'll high five you if you duck when she run up to you. <laughs> I'll be like, hey man, more power to you because I can't believe you just ducked right there. Like. I would take that low because at least I can slow escape it. You gonna take that for a punch? Yo. And it's hey. whatever she oh, wants no, no. to do. Yeah, and, and then it's party time. And like, did you really right. want to, did you want to, you got invited to a party you didn't even want to go to. exactly supports what I'm saying about Akira because you cannot slow escape that down for, uh, you know, the P plus K with, uh, with yeah, Akira. He, he don't like, have, he, he don't have four. He basically punch. can open you up from low, which is something that not many characters can do. The other thing is his damage is quite insane as well. Like Akira yeah. has insane damage. Oh, he does. Yeah. Uh, it's itchy. Like, it's like so. So if you guard, you're a joke. <clears throat> if you don't guard. His speed is quite decent as well. Like, what does he have? A ten frame jab and like, what's his fastest mid? Twelve. 
12 frames. 12, yeah. 12. It's, it's, but it's, it's a it's a it's 12 frames, but it's an execution 12 frames. Right. You have to remember that. It's an execution. I, I will 12. say in in a, in a Kira player's defense, they have it down pat. Like they get that thing to come out just as easy as pressing forward. Yeah, yeah. Forward. I mean, yeah, like, I, I used to I mean, Kira all the time. If you watch Slybass's yeah. matches, um he'll even go in knowing the player is just going to mash attack. And then he tries convincing them and and um uh conditioning them to start guarding and when it when he realizes that okay they're not going to guard i'm just going to keep doing my attacks like i think if you watch him versus sonic fox you'll you'll actually <laughs> see that uh transition <laughs> through the match because yeah. he he finally realized the sonic fox is just going to push jab yeah <laughs> yolo I, I, yeah exactly he's strong i'm not gonna say he's not strong but i wouldn't put him uh I, the I highest, I, I, the I highest I'd, I'd put him at is the bottom of A. And he has that crazy yeah. parry of his. The cra- that parry. It's a good parry. Does sh- that, but... does, that does a shit ton of damage as well. But it keep in mind, that's side, also bugged in this it, version. It only gives him 72 points of damage with the slope 77. Yeah. Yeah, but it, it's good because no other character gets a guaranteed 77 juggle, points. But yeah, keep, keep, keep in mind, um, after the latest patch... Uh, his yeah, parry is bugged. Oh, yeah. yeah, so yeah, the, if the low, the low hold, the low, um, if it catches a low punch, the follow up punch won't even come out. So it, all yeah, it is is a high parry. Yeah, I, and I well, think right now, honestly, right now, I think hopefully they'll fix it. Now. Uh, well, hopefully, no, I, yeah. I think that's purposely done. Seeing is because he's guaranteed an absurd amount of damage after a parry. No, I don't think it's purposely done. No, 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 no. Think I think it's think definitely it a bug because it wasn't even in the patch notes. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, you know, you, but that's something else with the patch notes. They don't put everything in the uh, in those patch notes. Even when they give us a full list of patch notes, it's a few things in the game that they change that they don't say. Like they went into the game recently and changed something uh, with one of Zach's strings that caused a sit down stun. It no longer causes that. It causes a bounce now. But that's not in the patch notes. Yeah. Which one is it? Which one is it? Uh, is Zach String where he does punch, punch, forward, punch, kick. I oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Punch, punch, yeah, forward, yeah. punch, kick. Yeah, it, it causes a bounce now. It used to cause a guard stun. So as far as it not being in the patch note, that doesn't, like, to me, that, whatever. Because they've been doing that, not putting everything in the patch notes. Yeah, but yeah, from I a game design's but, perspective, it's, case, it's, it it's very difficult. A lot like a bug. From, from... Because, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, Matt. I'm saying from a game designer's <laughs> perspective, it, it's very obvious that something like that would be a bug in terms of the parry because of the animations uh-huh. um, required. Um, since it's like it will work in the same animation, but not work in the other animation. Um, and uh, and from my discussions with uh, Shimbori over the years with uh, when I went to Japan and stuff, he's very adamant about like... Uh, <laughs> Like, for example, I told him, like, hey, can Bass's 6XP six, six, six go ahead and be plus? He's like, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't mind it, but one, one PP, I'd have to do the same thing since it's the same animation, and uh, it'll be too strong. So oh, uh, with, they're, they're very means... adamant about trying to keep the animation similar. Uh, oh, okay, okay. I, I got you. All right, because I mean, to me, my initial thought was like, because I mean, because Destruction Bomb showed it to me, and I was like, okay, this punch is coming out. Like, so I had him show me what is he doing after this parry, and I'm like, oh, he's guaranteed 72 points of my life without, mm-hmm. you know, without a slope. And it's like, to me, honestly, I'm like, maybe they, when they went in there and fixed it, so the punch can come come out more consistently. I thought that maybe they said, okay, we want this character to at some point in time play DOA because no other character is guaranteed that amount of damage from a parry so as I to me I saw it as okay they're guaranteeing it from a punch or a standing kick and then when he does a low one you know he has to play DOA you know his opponent still can't hit a button but they have to guess it between okay is he going to attack or throw me yeah that's that's why I thought it was intentionally done because maybe uh, they thought that okay this is doing too much for a parry okay that's fair. That's a good. That's thing. why I thought that's what he is. I'm saying, guys, he's strong. I'm not saying he's not strong. I'm just saying, yeah, I'm in not terms saying he's of not strong either. Yeah, just in terms of how this game is played. In, like... in terms of the higher tiers <laughs> of characters, yeah. yo, the struggles will be hella real with him trying to fight like Hayabusa and getting scooped all day, or playing like even Genfu might have a good little fun with him. Like I just don't think we have enough strong Kiras. That's all. We're never like, gonna well, have we enough strong Kiras. <laughs> Just, yeah, my, I mean, my Cal, we're, we're not saying Akira is like a terrible character. 
Um, and I don't know if it's just the discussion because we discussed this before the podcast started about um, misunderstanding when we say this character <laughs> sucks or this character is good. Oh, yeah, doesn't yeah, mean yeah, yeah. they are the best yeah, yeah. and they are the All worst. Right. And saying, there's no hey, middle. Cool. But <laughs> right, to close this out, though, the, well, at least it's part of the uh, podcast, with the tier list. Let's talk about the yeah. bottom the bottom characters, the CD area. Yeah. Uh, their CD is, well, our CD, Free Step Dodgers, Marie Rose, Ayn, Leon, Brad, Rachel, Kokoro, yeah, and Ellie. Rose? Really? Yeah, yeah, I, I I agree with with some, some some of those belong there. Some of them don't. some of them Mary, don't. Yeah, yeah, Mary doesn't Marie, belong Marie, there. Marie doesn't be- belong there. No, Elliot well, needs to stay forever alone. But there's a couple yeah. that could be. He could hang out with Brad Wong too, though. Yeah, he can hang out with Brad. Brad can chill there. Yeah. Um, I recently took Kokoro into sparring mode, and at, at, on, initially I couldn't, I didn't know what the issue was, and then once I started playing with her, and I was like, oh, this is their problem with her. So yeah, yeah, you can't stream with her. Yet, yeah, I, I hate to say not anymore. Anyway, yeah, you, know, is yeah. What you can't stream with Kokoro no more. So the feels yeah. is real, and they had to put her ass down in the C, the C bracket. That's what happened. <laughs> right. Yeah. They were like, oh, we can't hit the buttons? Okay, she's done. To the, right. bottom, mind, to the bottom, she goes. The free step dodge tier list is only only made based off of um, community feedback with matchup rules. And yeah, so, yeah. Mari well, Rose, I think a lot of players just haven't had the experience enough to say which ones she's more neutral or advantage at. And thus, the ones they know for sure she loses at just dropped her from the B tier to C at the time that was posted. Yeah, well, they have Phase Four up there, which is even more weird. Well, that's just because she doesn't have any matchups, so she's she's basically. I gonna just dead. put her as a B though. Just don't put her on there, man. Just gonna put her. <laughs> just gonna lie to the people. Wait, wait it out. Lie, lie to Dang, they, they don't like it. They can they, they can submit their own ideas of the matchups. Okay, my fault. I'm and it's more like it. you can look at Phase Four and the current one and say that's middle. <laughs> that's and how do you straight up middle? Bass is is a B though. You think that's accurate? I think he's higher than that, like oh, higher, higher in the Bs. Um, okay. Higher in the Bs. Okay. Yeah. Um, they got, I, I see a few weirdos up there in that B world. Like, they got a big B section. It's kind of weird. Have, no, it's I, because I, they all I, bounce yeah, out to the middle. List the most, I'm, I'm going to go look at it now. Let me see. Like, because they, uh, they got Hatomi in there, which she does hit like a truck. But right. as far as I'm concerned, there's only been two Hatomi players in the world, and that's me and Vanessa. <laughs> and then it ended there. Like it was some other ones that are notable, and I respect they hustle, but uh, they didn't take care of business. Well, you, you know, we're bringing up the difference between the two tier lists, and yeah, yeah. Event Hubs <laughs> has Bass as the second worst. I don't know, man. I want. I want to say. Yeah, I, I, won't I think say that's a, second worst. a general problem with yeah, the way Event gonna Hubs does it. Down there. Not yeah, that's it's just, it's just the way funny. Event Hubs does it. Is everyone's like, game. oh, yeah, I beat all the basses, you know? <laughs> all three of them, you know? Just yeah. <laughs> like, I don't have any fears when I go up against a bass player online because I just mash my punch. <laughs> and, oh. But that's sort of a – but both both tier lists have uh, Elliot in his own tier. Well, hey, at least he has something right. Right. And, and uh, I'll point out, based on an earlier discussion, um, Tina in both is two oh, tiers oh, higher goodness. than Elliot. Uh oh, we're getting close, boys. Yeah. <laughs> we getting close. I, I, you I, you yeah. got your notepad out, don't you, Kyle? Because you yeah. don't need it. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay. As long as I'm just making sure you're ready, man. I don't want you to. Um. I, I, I mean, about what? Tina it Elliot. Was... Okay. So. Yeah. It was. It was a question that I. That I mean, I wanted to. I guess get from. All four of us, it's really quick, you know. Okay. No no deep explanation just off the top of your head, like your own top ten characters that you will put, in, you know, that you feel that are like the top ten dominant characters in the game in no particular order, just off the top of your head. And I'll go last since I'm ans- you oh, know, I asking. I want Matt to go first. I need Matt to go first so I can hear yeah. the bass is number one. Yeah. <laughs> what? Go ahead. Like, <laughs> like, like legit, your, your, your top ten characters, you, you know, go. Go. <laughs> My top ten, top three. Yeah, your your top, you know, just off the top of your head, just you know, name ten characters. Name ten yeah. characters, okay. Uh, Bass, Mister Strong. <laughs> okay. Uh, Bass Armstrong, followed okay. by Genfu, Ayane, Christy. I just really hate Sarah, but she's not that high <laughs> as everyone thinks she is. I think Rig is. 
under is very um, underutilized or slept on a lot. I think he's a lot better than most people give credit for. Um, uh, of course, you got the Elena mix-ups. Um, Momoji's yeah. very good at um, initial stun launch, just doing that damage, waiting for the counter hit. Um, Leon, as well, is also very good. Okay. I think I was at so, 7, but that's about it. That, that That's about it. I, I counted 10 because the two that you were you kind of spoke in, I added them, and that was Grig and um, Sarah. I put them okay. in there. You mentioned them, yeah, so I, I got 10. So we got, like, three different basses, you know, or three different I identities there, and we got, you know, getting... No, they're all the different. Oh, you, it's you, not yeah, bass. my bad. My bad about they're that. They're all the my same character. That, you know? there's, yeah. there's big differences, man. <laughs> Okay, so, you know, for everyone, you know, that that's Mr. Waz, you know, top 10 character in uh, Cal or Ninja CW. Uh, yeah, uh, go ahead. Um, where is he? <laughs> well, since, well, since oh. you're talking. Oh, you're, no, you go uh, ahead. Yeah. You go ahead, Cal, my bad. Yeah, yeah, you, you uh, Okay, you for me, first. for me, okay, no, no particular order, right? Right, no particular order. All right, I would go Akira, Sarah, Pi. Uh, Genfu, Lei Fang, Christy, Helena, seven. Mila definitely. Mila's on. Uh, Mila slept on. Mila, I would put. Who would I put? Did I say Christy? Tina. No, no, no. Ayane. Yep. Ayane. Who? Yeah, definitely Jan Lee. Yeah, okay. Jan, yeah. Yeah, Jan Lee, that that's your ten. Okay. Yeah, that's my. Yeah. Okay. Go 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 ahead, uh, Chris. Okay. All right. Um, I would say, honestly, uh, Kasumi, Rig, Tina, Hatomi, Momiji, Hayabusa. Jan Lee. Pass. Oh, man. I really, really want to say uh, <laughs> Marie Rose. Yeah, I, I, was, I, was, I, was I got two I got two more, right? Yeah, you had two that. more. Did I say pie already? Nope. Okay, that was the other one. Pie. And uh, I'm going to be an asshole and say phase four. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm just gonna call. Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't disagree with you. I mean, that's I'm the problem. There are just She's way too many 10. characters. She's a top ten, in my opinion. Is top 10? Yeah. Okay. They, uh... they just need to start nerfing the characters um, by removing them, and that way we we can get to a solid tier list. Hey, can you never say yeah. that? Again? Can you never say that. Again? <laughs> okay. We just, we just we just do we just soul caliber yeah. five this stuff. Let me. Let me think. My my top ten is like a. Uh, I'm putting um for me I'm putting um four ninjas in there. Uh um All right. Crit, Kasumi, Momiji, Ayane, Hayate. Um Okay. After that, uh two VF characters, um Pi and um I put Akira in there. All right. <laughs> um after that, Genfu, Christy, Lei Fang. Okay. And Mila. Mila. Oh, okay. Yeah, Mila's a, a yeah, that, that's ten. That's ten. Yeah, she's. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, the thing is, uh, I mean, if if this shows anything, I mean, the way we all look at the the, the game, if this shows anything, it shows how. I mean, I don't want to, like, I, this is gonna sound weird, but it just shows how very well balanced the game is because we don't have like a clear cut. 10 like it, it, some the, of our characters the, were consistent though you know? yeah there there is there is consi there are consistencies but but you know after those top four or five it really it, it's really a, like a mix down there like um it's no doe3 really equal well balanced. balance <laughs> yeah that's very true the game is very balanced yeah from when i've played from everything i've seen in the game so far is pretty balanced it's just that the online isn't that good, so it's kind of hard I to mean, make the transition. I mean, even when I, when we say Elliot is down there, 
Um, no, he really is bugs. I, like seriously. No, 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 no. Even, uh, no, let, let, let's just let's just kind of just for a second. Like, even when we say Elliot is on the, on the bottom of that list. Yeah. Um, I mean, if 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 it comes down to actually, you know, breaking Elliot down, like Elliot has very long strings. Like it's mm-hmm. really hard to tell, and he has probably he's still one of the only characters left with string delay, like with proper string delay. Um, and that really is a, is, a, is a very strong factor for him. The other thing is uh, his parry. He his parry any character with a parry that that that's just a, a really strong thing for a character to have. Um, I can agree to that. Yeah, I'm gonna let you finish. I'm gonna let you finish, but <laughs> Tina's got some throws. Say, and I'm gonna let her speak. <laughs> and and his oh, no his his uh, you know that 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 launcher throw of his that does a shit ton of damage as well. Like you know when when done correctly, and then you have his nine P, which compensates. Yes, it gives him no advantage whatsoever, uh, neither on block nor on hit. But at the same time, it's a good you know shut up move. Like it shuts people up. I, I really don't think he's. Like, okay, yes, he might be at the bottom of the list, but it doesn't mean he can't win. Okay. That's that's what yeah. that's what I'm trying to say. That's okay, all, all right, that say, I can yeah. agree with. I can agree with he yeah. can't win. He has about a 10% chance of winning any match, no matter how good the person is playing. So it's a 9-1 game. matchup against him. I mean, and I'm going to tell time. you why. I'm going to tell you okay. why, all right? Well, okay. I'm, not, I'm not saying it's like it just – the character. He has a few good moves, okay? But – to compensate for that, he can't really get anything from them. So the only way he can really do is get you on counter hits all day and pray, and I do mean you pray, know. that you let him throw so much to the point where you have to hit. But he has to play like kind of a Hayabusa type of style where he has to throw you a lot to make you hit buttons. But the sad part is he doesn't have any fast moves at neutral, which means if you hit a button and I hit a button, there's a high chance that you're going to get counter hit. And then, that is very true. and then you have crappy holds that give that just pretty much give you sadness. Like you get me, <laughs> give you but sadness. I don't. But you don't really care. You're like, well, he countered me, and this is okay, and this is why it's okay <laughs> because now I'm about to just make you guess some more. So then, he finally hits you, and he has to go for like some of the goofiest, goofiest, goofiest transitions within his stun to even get the the damage correctly. Unless he obviously catches you with like a super launch, his strings are just awful. They're just bad, like especially his punch strings. Like, don't do those. Well, like, don't. I. And and again, it, keep in mind that um for the FSD tier list again, it's based off of the matchup counts, and he's that low just because I think everyone but two characters, everyone believes that he has a, a losing advantage. So. <laughs> Disadvantage matchup, yeah. either a six or a seven against them. Yeah, so and that's pretty much what's going to happen. Like it's sad. It's the truth, though. It's I sad. Think there's, I think there's more characters that would have more disadvantage matchups in general. Not more than him, but more than what they currently have in our tier list. He just, and that would help yeah. split up that B area a lot. Yeah, like um, someone I, I was skimming the the. The tier list thread that that right here that I pulled up like a couple of days ago, and someone discussed why the matchup between Elliot and Bass is like really bad. And I never looked at it that way, but Elliot and Bass are pretty much playing the same game, but Bass is so much better. He hits at like it. a boss. <laughs> well, he hits like a yeah. truck though. Like, oh, yeah, I finally and, guessed yeah. right. Now you die. <laughs> yeah. And, and I do two Elliot hits, to... and you lose a quarter of your life. And Elliot, yeah. like, I hit you. Yeah, and I have Frank to hit you again. God, he can hit you yeah. with the rest of his slow strings. Like his down free plus kick is really good. Like you're gonna get hit by it, but it's only one follow up. So if you see his body even wiggle, you're going to counter mid punch. Right. You see him do back punch punch, you're gonna counter the high instantly, like with no hesitation. You're just gonna do it, at least offline. If you see him do yeah. down four punch stuff, you'll probably wait because he can do a low out of it. But it's just linear, and you're gonna bust him in the face because he's so slow. Yeah, like, as, yeah, as far as like his string delays, like I, I was um at a local scene playing against a guy and like he was playing a Yane and um 
I was trying to like do his little string delay that you were mentioning, Kyle. And um, every time I pause, the guy crushed. He hit a button, clean. And I'm like, oh my god. So I had to switch to say, okay, well now I'm gonna finish the strings. Well, the problem with that is that all the string enders are mid punches. I could make them safe by making them minus three, but at that point in time, it's like, all right, it's, you know, as Chris said earlier, it's party time because yes. my turn is over. <laughs> Your turn and, you is know, completely yeah. over, and you if get I, out damaged yeah. completely. I, can I parry? I most absolutely can, but like all of my attacks that I have, even on normal hit, it caused like the most shallowest stuns in the game where I could like Which, blow on yeah, my pad really and sucks. shake all. Oh, yeah, so it's like it doesn't matter. Like his nine frame little punch, like he's at neutral like, on all hit levels. So as a fast character like Kasumi, he does the nine frame punch, and then I say, okay, well now I'm gonna button you from mid range and still beat you out because all of your buttons are at fastest speed or slower. So it doesn't matter that you just interrupted me with the nine frame jab because we're at neutral. Yep. So I mean, no, I, I don't disagree at all. Yeah, but just in your in your argument between Tina and Elliot, you can clearly see how they should not be in the same class. Well, because at least with is, Tina, she could end the game with two bad guesses. Elliot, no. Yeah, no, I I can agree on that. I can definitely agree on that. I'm I'm not gonna disagree with that. No, that definitely makes perfect sense. But good luck on your combo video. Yeah, yeah, good, yeah. Good luck. For the most I part, mean, you know, from 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 tonight's discussion, you should maybe reword Tina's, you know, combo video because she, you know, it should just no be done. What yeah. her throws are on a high yeah. counter after one stun. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or just or just showing the vitivity, like for force yeah. to hold here and they eat 132 damage, or. Don't force the whole, or, or or do the attack slash critical burst, and they eat 132 damage. <laughs> wow. Right. Yeah. yeah. Like her her objective should be stun. Now we play the waiting game. Okay. Well. Yep. Yeah. I think that concludes everything. <laughs> yeah. Emperor Cow has been debated. We're good. <laughs> I'm just saying, All man. Right with the world. I think his problem is he just ain't got nobody to play. Yeah. So. Right. No, I mean it's it's not that. I mean it's like. It's cool. You have like but, a little Hatomi doll you talk to, and y'all <laughs> debate the game. I, mean, Tina, I still feel Tina has. Let, let's like, be here. Tina's got like, like she's still very limited when you compare her to the other grapplers. What? Oh no. I don't, I don't see how. Like her yeah. throws are on par with yeah. theirs. Yeah, her throws are amazing. She has probably one of the well, quickest four. Advantage. Like the the, the only grappler that could that's like capable of actually like stringing like a striker is Lisa. Yeah, like she, outside of that, the rest of them are like you know stringing how grapplers are supposed to string, like stun and then wait. Okay. I, yeah, I, I still mean, think even, Tina's even between that, that Lisa and like Leon style or even Busa style. She's a little bit more right. striker, but she definitely has all the pros that the grappling characters have. Right, including the, the option to select um, juggle, uh, mm -hmm. ground throw. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, yeah. oh my god, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. the most annoying things discovered in this game. <laughs> yeah, it's like a lot of stuff that people just don't know. Like, uh, really is, like, like Nashville I, I does really think... well with Tina. He does really well with her. Yeah, this is my first time actually respecting grapplers on Wake Up. Like my entire <laughs> years of playing grapplers, I didn't give a damn about them. I actually feared them when they knocked me down. Yeah, exactly. You obviously didn't play the DOA two too much with uh, double down grab Bayman <laughs> and down triple really? down grab Tina I, and DOA three. <laughs> Well, I, my brother played with Tina, but he no, he didn't go far off into doing that. <laughs> like, yeah, my, my experience of playing that was yeah, like that, that good, selected, so, a game yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's a really sick thing, you know. I mean, like that, that people have been using. Yeah, I had I had found that um, day one, or at least in the first week of DOA Five Ultimate. When all the bass players were like, "Oh my God, they got rid of all his guaranteed pickups," I'm like, "Guys, just just do the hell in the thing with down grab," and all of a sudden they're like, "Oh my God, this is this is amazing." And then they they stop playing that character. 
And no, that's it's just, just like that. We can do this with all the other better grapplers. <laughs> You're right. Why not? Why mix up to a plus six or a plus thirteen, uh, plus eleven damage or plus eleven um, frame advantage when I can you choose a character who is plus six with uh, like eleven twelve frame um, with a twelve frame mid or yeah, right. do damage. Mila has to be the nastiest like oh, yeah. hyped character with it. I'm like. Okay, Bass doing it, like, it's like, fix up isn't as strong. Mila doing it, it's like, really? Really? This is what Team Ninja, this is what I have to get out of? <laughs> and and <laughs> she, remember, that she can guarantee your ground throws. Like, if you yeah. perfect timing them um, you, against, like, you want to tech if it's in a uh, danger zone ground stage. <laughs> I, think, I think Mila's a monster. Mila, we should see more Mila's, man. Yeah, I, I say again, while we don't see her as much, it's because like all of her buttons don't work, and I mean that in a sense like you can't go in there and turn your brain off with her. You can't play <laughs> yeah. online. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, 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 yeah. So because all of her b buttons don't work, you're not gonna see her, you know, like that. I will say this though, like when people get a whiff of uh, something unique, whenever you know he, comes yeah, whenever he play, decides to come play, they with are us. going to be highly pissed off. Yeah, I mean, when you when you uh, I mean, I I had the pleasure of playing uh, a Korean player called Diablo Doc, who uh -huh. is a Mila player. Um, I mean, after playing him, like I mean, I I used to really like Mila and play her a lot myself, but like uh, from when I like you know when you when you see a character specialist play a certain character, it just you know kind of opens up your mind to certain things that you might have not been aware of or just kind of overlooked but uh, i definitely changed my opinion about me and i agree i think she's very strong uh, yeah, that's after all her nerves oh, yeah oh, over the like as until recently i really sat down and looked at her numbers like i know some of the unique and Mila players will not like this i actually understand and i support why team ninja has been nerfing her over yeah. the period of time, because like the care, even still now, I feel that there are some changes that needs to be addressed with her. But she's still ridiculous. She's that low yeah. throw, dude. That low throw. She owns you after that low throw. Yeah, like I mean, like if she catches you on high counter with that low throw, all she needs is just <laughs> right. You know, yeah, make you just guess one single move. It could be anything: mid punch, kick, or jab into burst. Straight away. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, she's one of those characters that don't even have to opt to burst you and still drop <laughs> drop you 140 plus. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> and, she, and she would still be able to do a shit ton of damage without the burst. Well, that, like, and it, like, yeah, she, she's, yeah. um, she gets a lot of that damage really easily. <laughs> yeah. And, 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 um, no, what threw me off, like, when I first played, like, Greg, uh, Gil Hustle, Greg, um, uh -huh. And it was the first time, like, like, dude, you're throwing all these low hits. Why isn't my 6K, like, out-prioritizing your 6P? You're minus, right? And it's like, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm frame advantage on normal hit. What? what? That just doesn't happen in this game. <laughs> right. Struggles is real, man. It's like, it's like oh, 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 no, I'm so upset because... Um, 1p now is plus two all the time unless on tip range instead of plus three everywhere okay <laughs> uh. <laughs> sure because she definitely needs that yeah you know, like she still anyway. has the thing she still has a thing that she needed which is damage like she touches you and then you got like right. one or two chances before you just die yeah and it's over like you're just quite, quite your... honestly like the decisions she forces on you are equivalent to what getting food was doing it's just that people are focusing and complaining more about him because it's coming easier to him and it's interrupting yeah. how yeah, they yeah, want yeah. to play whereas Mila is like no this, Mila, you know she, she has his space ridiculous. yeah she's definitely a character that for you admit like you have to commit to a response like because if you don't you're screwed basically. yeah yeah like uh i i, I definitely agree and yeah, I'm watching um, Nash fan go on, going on Kazumi, uh, boy, b boy dragon, and I don't know what you're talking about, man. You got some nice yeah. um, strings you can learn from here. Yeah, like, and he, you could tell that like he's, he, it looks like he just doesn't have a lot of familiarity with with just Kasumi in general. 
like he's played, but he's still a little funky around the edges against that character. Like you could just tell, he's still yeah. a little funky around the edges. He still plays a little, a little too much online in his reactions. Yeah. It's just that's how the game is, though. Takes some experience. Yeah, that's it, the hardest part about the DOA. Nice you got to leave the house to get yeah. good at DOA. Like he's doing some of these cool setups. Look at that damage. Look at that damage, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> he hit him with some single hits and just. Elliot wishes that he was... had that four hit half life yeah, damage that... <laughs> combo. <laughs> four hits and then all the life bars gone. He wish he had that. Into a. a... Not, was it a not lift stun but the falling down stun it mix up either i'm gonna cb you or i'm gonna do 132 damage uh throw yeah exactly and i can react because yeah, my exactly. throws are fast like good luck just this character i don't know Calvin. she's top 10 <laughs> ellie is gonna he's gonna be forever alone for a really <laughs> you, 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 that's what the f tier stands for right yeah forever alone yeah forever <laughs> alone down there <laughs> Sometimes, you, sometimes you might get a friend. Maybe it might be a character just as bad as you are. But what do you think of Brad then? Brad? I think yeah. he's like the, the most X solid. Factor. I think you he's the most solid you, he's ever you, been. If you follow the story, those two do hang out yeah. an awful lot. I would so say he's like, like, <laughs> they hang out a lot. Man. But see, the problem is they gave Brad some stuff so he could at least pretend to fight people. <laughs> but. They didn't give Elliot anything. They were like, hey, let's give Elliot a really fast interrupt high attack. That, that does help. nothing. It does nothing. It pushes nothing, you back though. to mid-level. To mid <laughs> it just puts him back to the same crappy situation he was in 10 seconds ago. And he's like, man. <laughs> he starts trying to parry you. He ain't got nothing to hit you with it after he parries. That he doesn't have any ceiling about. combos, like, even though he has a throw that would knock into to... ceiling. Yeah. Have you ever seen somebody disrespect the character like they disrespect? Uh, Elliot. No. No way people do to Elliot. They just run at him and hit all their buttons as fast as they can. They don't even care what they're hitting. They don't care. He's, they just so don't true. care. They're just like, whatever. It's freaking Elliot. I'm going to just do this. He's going to die. Dude, you know it's bad if that's what Bass's mind game is with yeah. Elliot. It's like, like oh, Bass you hit me? Like, oh, I'm back in the range I want to be at anyways. So... What are you going to do like, about it? Oh, you want to parry? I'm going to back grab. Oh, there goes the, match, 90, 90 of your life. It's an honest match all of a sudden when he plays against uh, Elliot with Bass. It's honest now. Now it's a fair match. Now we get to now we get to actually play the game. Like right, I, I still think that Bass is even even Bass still has an advantage over Elliot <laughs> because overall time. his speed is not that much to pressure Bass along with his recovery and guard breaks. Yeah. Um. So it doesn't scare me when I'm facing Bass when I'm facing Elliot. And, and you know that's a shame, Kyle. That's a crying shame. <laughs> He ain't worried. He said he ain't wish... worried about it. It's like it's like okay, you got parries. Uh, I got a throw that does high counter, said, ninety damage. Really in the right here, bro? Do you really want to parry? I think if they just give Elliot at least, you know, you know the low punch enders to his strength. Yeah. If they at least give him just a plus one. No, no. Like if they just give five. him a plus one. No, he need like plus five. Yeah. Yeah, plus, yeah, five. Like plus five. Look, let me tell you the truth hit. about Elliot. I'm, talking, I'm what... talking plus one on hit. No, listen, this is what on they hit. need to do with Elliot. They need to just delete him just... and start over. <laughs> <Delete>. <laughs> just start <laughs> over. <laughs> just complete just, revamp of you know, the character. Give him Genfu's moveset in DOA 6. Maybe hey, they and might do that. You never know. They no, then they're just going to nerf him because then people will pick him. And then they're no, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is too good. We can't. No, they we can't have all this in our Elliot. game. They just give Elliot down for a P plus K. <laughs> then yeah. we would have a character. And, and, and that's it. You know, you're done. Okay. I'm just saying. Oh, we got some. Um, some. I noticed uh, Zia wanted us to talk about Ayn. Okay. What we all think about Ayn. Um. Oh. Um, More or less. All right, he's not as bad as Elliot. I'll, I'll say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can, we can say that. Well, well, I mean, even both tierless agree that there's no one as bad as Elliot. Yeah, I mean that's crazy though, right? They call it they call it event scrubs, but look, a bit obviously everybody's on the same page there. So we're doing something. Right. Like we all. Is, I mean, I mean, when you look at the tier list over there, it's really not that different from us. It isn't, but all right. Well, let's just talk about Iron though. But yeah. All right. To be serious. Okay, you know, I'll, I'll say this since I've done it with for two characters so far. I'm, I'm going to tackle what the issue 
that I see players having with them already. (laughs) Like, I put out a tutorial, right? And I'm like, yo, this is how you're supposed to play Iron. You know, even Carl said it a long time ago playing off B Ninja. Off B Ninja is the most boring player to play in the game. (laughs) Why? Because he plays the most lamest, (laughs) the most lamest game with the most lamest character in the game, and it's highly efficient. So I sit down and I watch these I am players and they want to string as if she's Hitomi. And I'm like, really? After all the work that I put in a 14, <laughs> 15 minute tutorial for letting you know that this guy is not supposed to do that, you're still doing it. <laughs> so hey. that that's my problem. What you're supposed to do with Ian is space, get a counter hit, and make your opponent choose between life and or death, and you keep repeating that process. You do not string to death. You when 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 you string to death with with uh, with Ian, that's when you're in disrespect mode. That's when it's like, okay, my opponent is going to allow me to do this. Outside of that, the back of your the back of the screen should be your best friend. But none of these players understand that. I don't think and that's I, it's like, I, that's the problem. Yeah, it's like I and it's like I mean I can understand if there was like no help. Like there's mad matches of off B Ninja playing. The same you know play style can still be applied now. And then, like, I I broke it down Barney style with a 14 minute <laughs> tutorial, and you still have players doing the exact opposite with the character, and then complain that he sucks. And then to add insult to injury, Team Ninja listened to that, buffed his damage beyond reason, and the character still sucks in their eyes. I'm like, really? That's really? not what. That's uh, not why he sucks, uh, he, though. He's... So it's like you I guys. Just, he, I still he remember. Suck. CGS, and I think it was you, Ninja, uh, versus Offbeat, and it was literally you guys on the opposite side of the screen Yo, yeah, with oh, Genfu right. versus yeah. Ayn, and you just crouch dash in, back back up. Just, that was him. Because you got to play like, that's how Offbeat plays. It's like, he's going, I'm going to wait for you to come in. I'm going to wait for you to come in. And it wasn't until like, out of a 60 second match time, you guys came in at Eight or nine seconds throughout one attack and got the timeout win. Yeah, <laughs> and that's where Itagaki was heard saying, uh, "You know, you got to push the buttons faster." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was a glory day for me, man. That was a good day. I didn't think he was gonna actually do it because I was like, "I'm not gonna do it." <laughs> he doesn't step up. I'm not gonna step because I'm already knowing, like, yo, I got no buttons to open him up with. Like we've been using this string for like a year now. Like I think he knows, but it don't work on him because he's just uh, gonna stand there anyway. Right. The down, so. <laughs> the down drop to Ayn and Jackie really changes them. Like, really gives them like that little edge well, that they might. Have Ayn given. still suffers the problem of he he doesn't get to play the game very often. He has to right. kind of stand there and wait. That's why. He's yeah, but, but that's the launch. way he's designed. I mean, I'm just saying, like in terms of winning and being consistent, like I hope your defense is godlike. Right. <laughs> Like, yeah. In which case, just pick bass. Like, I mean, I'm just, that's the only thing I can tell you. I just hope your defense is good because you ain't got so nothing. Far, off beat Ninja is the only person that to ever get it right with that. Look at this boy. He, and he, to he came back. He came back for yeah, Ultimate. Exactly. He was playing and online. You want to know what the pick problem is? Like, the man actually smartened up and plays Hitomi the exact way he plays Ayan, and it's even more annoying with her. Yeah. Because she does not have to play that way. Yes. Yeah, sh- same Ganshu, way. And I grip my teeth. I'm like, dog, stop. That's he how she is. Like me. <laughs> They don't do it. He won't do it either. Like, good luck. Exactly. And yes, no matter how ignorant and how crazy you force the game plan on him, he will not fold. He'll just stand there. Yeah. And just look. And then you. punish you. And then terribly. punish. Like, he's like the, one of the few people. Like, he kind of changed the game of DOA4 with yeah. that, that super gay style of just standing there. <laughs> like, here we were going YOLO, putting these strings on <laughs> you. Mashing punch. You know, hitting the punch yeah. button as many times as possible. Maybe he'll, maybe he'll just... try counter hitting. You know, yeah. doing these sweeps, we might block like, maybe. We'll see. I, I would say playing him and Ryujin like helped me like slow down recently because well, I Ryujin was like that too back in the day. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I, would, I would play those two guys, and I'm like, yo, I'm dying tremendously fast with yeah. Kasumi. So what is wrong? And then and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, Danny with three KK. Yeah. So yeah, you know, to answer uh, his question, like Ayn is, he's a good character. You just gotta have a yeah, have a solid like, defense. You gotta yeah. have some good defense. It's like that razor's yeah. edge. Yeah. Like you yeah, have so to have. Just, you gotta, you gotta make people hang themselves. Yeah, you yeah, gotta. Yeah, people gotta hang themselves. A if little you bit. falter from that at all, it's just 
really difficult to yeah, pull if it you out. Start, yeah, if you start trying to stream people, you're going to lose in about three seconds. It's going to yeah. suck. It's going to hurt. It's going to be sick. Which is what, yeah, which is what players do. Like, how do you get a 40-frame lip stun and decide to say, 1K, punch, 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 punch. How do you do that? Like, yeah, like wait a he has yeah, a like... lot of safe pokes. <laughs> but, people, but people aren't trying to use his safe pokes. They're trying to use everything but his safe pokes. I was like, well, yeah. all Big Ninja did 3P like it was the only move in the game. And I hated him for it. I was like, why would... Uh, you, know, you know, you know the, the, Especially the, 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 the stun 3P into the follow-up 3P combo. Yeah, oh, oh man, just too good, isn't it? He's just like... You, just, you can't react to it. And <laughs> you're like, cool, bro. Like, I mean, you know, Ein, Ein, it's not really where he suffers, but it's just where his game is. He comes from DOA 2, where you d you just could play those knock back, um, single hit, get the hell off of me, high damage, um, wall combos. You know? Right. Like, yeah. you didn't, well, I say, I don't say wall combos, but like, because you didn't have combos in DOA 2 off the wall, but. Um, just the damage alone off of um, the, you know, just the environment, uh, yeah. and it was just stun launch and and just unholdable launchers, you know. <laughs> so <laughs> that's that's where he comes from, and yeah. that's his that's his individual like trait, and 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 works for him, and only offbeat can perform that. Yeah. <laughs> just like somehow Manny is the only one who yeah. can perform, perform off high boost. Speaking of three P. Speaking of 3P, you know about the option select where you can go 3P, low throw, 3P, low throw, 3P, low throw. Yeah, Have you tried I mean, that? Yeah, I mean, you, you, that's, again, that's something that you could be doing. That's something else Offbeat Ninja did. Like, oh, I stunned you with this 40 frame lift stun. Let me throw out this low throw just so you don't low hold. And then we're going to get busy here. Like, <laughs> but again, I don't. <laughs> I don't. I mean, I don't get it. So that 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 that's just my consensus of the character. I I feel no, that he's, he's basically if he dash. catches you with a yeah yeah if he if he catches you with a counter hit three p it's like and he goes yeah. to the low throw then three p again if you hold yeah. mid or high the three p is going to catch you and he's going to get the launch if yeah. he goes for the low hold he's going to get the low throw and you could just keep doing that over and over and over. Yeah. Nah, uh, don't, yeah. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not saying the character is is golly, he's top tier. Like, he has his issues. But my where I would place him, I honestly would put him like smack dab in the middle of like the tier list, like right there. That yeah. honestly, that that's that's where I would put him. I mean, he's a safe like yeah, he's just a safe, yeah. safe pick. Like you can yeah. win. Safe he's pick not character. Gonna give, you're not right. gonna you're gonna lose to Elliot or or Brad Wong, so you should be okay. Right. That's, that's how you should think about it. When you're picking a character, yes, should, oh, that's how you should, you should think anything. about it. Pick a character who will not lose to the worst yeah. characters in the game. Yeah, yeah. If yeah. You're at least one of the worst you're not characters. Get exposed by Elliot, you'll be okay. That's how you should think. Wow. I'm just saying it. Look, I, I forget what the second match up, second match that we have for the FSD um, t matchup chart for uh, Elliot. I know the the one one of them is Kokoro. Where they currently think Kokoro Elliot is five five. Okay. Um, uh, I, it might just be that phase base... four is the other one, but it's because no one's suggested. It's phase four. It's phase four. I'm looking at it right now. Oh well, let me just go fix that up then. And then there's Elliot, <laughs> Elliot and Elliot. And then there's <laughs> Elliot. Even, even Elliot, it's even it's even six four to like when Elliot fights Elliot. Like, How is no, it no, no. Elliot fight? It doesn't make it's, sense. It's even. <laughs> How does he, he doesn't even have a winning matchup against himself. There, That's there. Now, way. now, phase four <laughs> is really six four. He can't. He doesn't have a winning. He can't have an even matchup, even against himself. <laughs> he's so. He loses to himself. He's so bad. Like, come on, man. I'm about to go tweet Teen Ninja right now. <laughs> Like Elliot we need to. Elliot is so much better than Elliot. You need to balance Elliot out. So he at least. Like, Yo, we just need to talk. Like when y'all ready to talk and fix Elliot, give me a call. I'll help you guys out free of charge, man. Like we gotta fix this character. His two H K. So I mean, what what were some things that you would give Elliot to uh, help him out? Like I think even if you just simply give his three P plus K or his two H and K P. Um, I... Uh, make it plus two. <laughs> uh, I, I will go in and do like some major reconstruction. Something that I yeah. will do, I will go in and give his, I would give his mid punch and mid kick um, holds, actual hold animations. I will go in and um, I would um, 
I would actually double up his parries. I would give him me. um his I would let I would allow him to keep the standard parries and keep it doing the little nonsense that it does, but I will also give him advanced parries that would guarantee him launchers. Yeah. So it, he, well, gar- well, pretty much guarantee him a launcher, like I was in vanilla. His uh his nine frame interrupter, I don't be I wouldn't have it how it was in vanilla where it caused a ridiculously deep stun. I will Which you know hold? it would Mm-hmm. Um, the one that puts the opponent at back turn. Oh, both his mid punch and mid kick holds. Yeah, I would actually mid-kick. flush those out and give those actual animation guaranteed damage. options. Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh um, or at least a guaranteed follow up. Yeah. Something. Yeah. He just, um, they need to just revamp his strength. He just plays the deal. Yeah, like, game. yeah. Yeah. Like I would. Yeah. It, major for me. Uh, major reconstruction needs to be done. To I, w- I would give him a plus on his lows. Like. Just, well, yeah, that that's something else. Like, I mean, again, like, yeah, on his lows, like, I would go as far as like those little low pokes because they're te- they're highly telegraphed. I would give him plus, but I would give him like a stunning plus. So, say if, like he's at plus five, I would give it to where like your opponent like staggers to the side from the plus five, so he can actually, you know, apply some type of rush down. Something similar to how like Christie's little back her, I think her in one of her streams, like the low punch causes a light stun. It doesn't really guarantee much, but she can like like her. She her, can cause yeah yeah, yeah she can cause yeah yeah, yeah yeah yeah. She can cause like she forces you to hold. Can, yeah, yeah yeah exactly yeah. I would I would do that for his uh, all of the streams that uh, that gives him a low punch. Well, you see, this is why I um uh, such an advocate for the international play, and why I'm really happy to hear Katsunika make it over making it over to TFC in uh September. Um. Uh-huh. Because I mean, Cal, you were you were there translating for me when we, we were discussing in the uh, yeah. play for all all day in the arcade for twenty bucks, um, which is yeah. great. It was awesome. Um, but Katsunika was like asking like me, what do you, who do you think the best characters in the game are? And I think his response was, I think the top two are Elliot and Elliot and Hayate. And Hayate. Elliot and Hayate. That was his response at the time. And, and, and a lot of it's based off of the way that they p- look at and play the game. They're very reliant on low, low, low mid options. Yeah, um, those are good options. It's just, I don't know, just Elliot, where he has really good low options, is just so slow, and the follow ups are so not good. Yeah, and I think you, they're just looking at it more of like from a mix up per- perspective, like. Yeah, he doesn't guarantee anything, but he can mess you up in the mind. And I don't know for sure the exact details of why he has certain characters over others, but that's sort of why I'm, I like the idea of the international play is it starts getting those discussions to the forefront. Yeah. Because if we start sharing, um, we have these like two different mindsets. It's often been said Japanese tier list is like the inverse of the American tier list. <laughs> and if we start... I think we discussed this with him as well, or at least me and you discussed it while we were in Japan, Cal, where yeah. if we start getting the Japanese and us on the same page on how we want the characters to play and how they currently are playing, um, I think it, it, it makes it, it makes Shimbori's job a lot easier to get like, buffs like, and you know nerfs to gave, certain characters if there's more agreement. Like, you know what they gave region. Elliot, the, the six P plus K buff, where it gives the... the that gives you like a free, uh, free, three, 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 you know. Exactly. That's the way yeah. I see that, it. That's what, well, that's what we're discussing, that. is that if we get more discussion between the two regions, we can come to a better consensus. That's why I'm really looking forward to this cross-play, which is why I you know, I went out to the Japanese tournament. You know, Cal's been doing stuff at the Japanese t- side of things, and why it's great to have more of them come to the American tournament. I mean, I'm... I'm... I'm pr- pretty much in both streams. I'm in the Japanese stream and in this stream. I'm, I'm like the international commentator. <laughs> <laughs> it was like how, um, like when we were sitting at the sushi bar and Katsunikin was like, uh, Matt, um, your, your bass, we, you don't, you do things with bass that no one has ever thought to do. Like, for example, his full charge throw off the tech. <laughs> And oh. <laughs> and he's like, I really want to buff bass. So what would you like 
to see it buffed for bass. And that's what led me and Cal talking about, like, how if we oh get them God. to agree. And, and the worst thing is that he was, like, Matt was drunk out of his freaking mind. <laughs> and, and he was, like, repeating the same thing, like, 20 times. Like, he would forget that he said something, and he would say it, like, 50 times. And I, I have to translate it. And then, you know, because Katsunin Ken also wanted to hear what Matt wanted to say. So I was, like, going insane, just trying to shift between both languages. And I'm like, yeah, he just said the same thing he said a while ago. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, but it was a very interesting discussion, to be honest. Like, and his opinion was also like, kind of interesting. Like, it, 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 was a, it was a fun night that we had. Like with the all-you-can-eat sushi. Too bad you couldn't eat anything. I had the shrimp. It was delicious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because he's allergic to every other kind of fish, and like you know, they wanted to treat us to something nice at the, on the last day. And Matt, like, they kind of didn't know that Matt was kind of allergic to every everything from the sea, except for like shrimps, shrimp and lobster. So, yeah, I'm the lobster. Yeah, and they were like, <laughs> so, they, and they were, and they were like, just, just try it and see, see what happens. <laughs> like, see what happens. <laughs> see what happens. That's the best. <laughs> That's the best thing I've heard tonight, oh, right there. You also have that that egg sushi thing. So. Yeah, yeah, tam tamago. Yeah, uh, okay. you had that as well. So I mean, I mean, it it, it ended up you ended up eating as well. So, and it was two like, different was, kinds of shrimp. Menu. Yeah, two different kinds of shrimp: the lobster and the uh, and the and the egg the egg rolls. So it was it was kind of fun. Yeah. They, t they teased Oolong for his um choice of name. When they were like oolong oh, yeah, tea, man. oolong being one of the best um, Brad, Brad players over there, plays a little bit more. Yeah, of the, um... Brad he's, he's, the guy, he's the guy that kind of helped me out with the uh, with the Brad video. I don't know if you guys saw the Brad video or not. Yeah, well, he uh, he utilizes no, more oh. more mix up, like uh, like how he'll drop a juggle just to get into the frame advantage Tekken game, and then mix you up by jumping over you. You know, similar to like a Street Fighter where you decide to not finish a, like an air juggle for a hard knockdown, but reset. Yeah. You know, yeah. so he does he, a lot of that. Like, like, very, very unorthodox, Brad. Like, it's. It I mean, really... I, I, I wouldn't even call it. Un I would say that's probably something more or less how Brad Wong should be played. Honestly. He yeah. just he just caught me way off guard. Like when I when I played him, like I really had no idea what to do against him. Like the first time I played him, I I suffered. Like I could have beat him not even around, but you know, as as yeah, as, as we played more, like I kind of figured out like what, what he was doing. But yeah, he's his his Brad is definitely uh, like nothing I've ever seen. Yeah, it's just a he's a different character. It's gonna take a while. I like we don't have enough people playing him, so it's just hard to find out the all the cool stuff. Thing about, yeah, the cool thing about Brad is like I know we rate him really low, but uh -huh. the character has so many freaking moves. That, like, yeah. he really has almost every option from every situation. Honestly, he's probably like a C tier character, or maybe a little bit higher. But no, man, no, in, in my eyes, he's down there with his best friend. I don't Talking know, man. My best friend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think he just he it, he's just very matchup dependent <laughs> because I know, just, like, yeah. Yeah, against like Bass, I can like, oh yeah, yeah, you want to do like your head spin man, thing? I, 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 I can punish it, yeah. unlike I everyone else. Birds of a feather flock together, and. Brad and Elliot were very close friends. They are. You probably right too. It's just <laughs> yeah. Like just I'll, I'll say this from, because like my my thing is why is that um like I'll I'll rarely come across Brad when I play him online, and then when I do come across him, I get rocked, and then I sit there and it's like okay, I don't feel like I got outplayed by my opponent. I feel like I'm losing to a bunch of dumb stuff. That's so usually what it is. Take, yeah, let me go see what this is. And it's like, oh, really? Yeah, like the well, character... Now you get destroyed. Yeah, he, he struggles a lot in a neutral game, but what he makes up for it isn't just like all of the many, many goofy moves he has that just do yeah. stuff. Like, that's what makes the character all his random... The randomness of him and all his uh -huh. unseeable yeah, roles it, and all that other it, stuff. It goes out of the window. The moment you have an, an, a, uh, a solid defense and you know what his nonsense is, it's yeah. like... All right, buddy. Good exactly. luck with you actually getting to it. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, exactly. No, no, I, I agree. I hate my interesting mic. stuff. Well, anyway, I think uh, 
that's a we good way yeah way i think we, we, yeah, we went we went a, a little overview you know we basically oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. um it's kind of like 4 15 talked a little about phase four the new character talked a little bit about the results of um rof and uh did 10 while we let the right. um the, the recordings go ahead and play for that um even when and discussed the differences between the event hubs and every step dodge tier list uh current progress and um you know just as a reminder we have summer jam 8 which currently has over 100 participants um in philadelphia at the end of august um it's also all in the header for all the information you need and as well as is the second event for, to the fall classic which is definitely shaping up to be the most that are alive tournament in probably forever yeah um and i and it was pretty tough to to, to top the last last year's first tfc oh, so yeah you're right that it's going to be that. insane if it's anything like last year's uh i highly recommend showing up because if watching the watching the matches over again uh from the stream like it carried none of the actual uh crowd oh, yeah. stuff crowd, uh, over to the stream yeah. and there was, was so was much the hype theater, going on yeah. i think um, justin long tweeted that we had like the best showing the as best far as our finals, finals yeah and... yeah yeah and I, I just i just wish i could be there i mean thank you that that donation well you're welcome him, man. yeah, 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 yeah stick that donation yeah, thing up there <laughs> Yeah. Help hey, fund that burr cow to make it from Saudi Arabia. Yeah. I heard we was yeah. in a recession, man, but everybody just spending money, man. So yeah. I'm gonna I say... know you got some fans out there, Kyle. <laughs> See how many you got, man. Oh uh, man, Again. I mean, I've, I'm 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 spent this year. I don't think I'm going anywhere. Uh, like I, I already had like the France trip and the, and the Japan trip. That that's that's it for me. Well, so it's, anyways, uh, you have again the Fall Classic is in September, 10th to the uh, 12th. October. Um, in October, my apologies. Uh, September okay. is um, yeah, the October. break month between Summer Jam and uh, TFC. Yeah. Fall Classic is October 10th to, 12th, to the 12th. So um, in Raleigh, North Carolina, there's an open thread in Free Step Dodge. Feel free to look at it as well as um, information on the road to TFC with the $8,000 that Team Ninja has added to the pot to the top six. Um, otherwise, that's pretty much been the show for today. Um, By the way, just before we go, there's one thing that I thought I'd bring up. Uh, just very short. Um, the Japanese are actually considering doing a tournament in uh, November, and for the first time, they are actually considering going double a limb. What's oh, about good. time? Yeah, they are actually going to try it out and see how it plays out. And I was like, you know, it's thanks to a lot of uh the feedback that they got from rof because five japanese soul caliber players were there and the soul caliber community and the doa community are very tight in japan like they're they're very close to each other mm -hmm. uh thanks to that influence as well as the feedback that i gave them i think they're going they're actually kind of thinking of starting a double limb you know format right. from now on so that oh. might be also a very good incentive for more foreign players to try out Japanese scene. Well, hopefully they also uh, yeah. um, add in the or start using the character lock. <laughs> uh, oh, you mean uh, between matches? Mean, L lose a oh, uh, winner I mean, character winner, lock. Winner, winner gets locked. You mean? Yeah, yeah. Oh wow, I know. There's there's a lot of crazy rules I had to deal with over there. It was just like do rock paper scissors scissors beforehand, and it was like so confusing to determine player <laughs> one or player two. And I was like, really? you, you get decision. Just, just, I, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> That's just, <laughs> it's so random. Hey, yeah, man, yeah, it's if like. If you want to go back to when I first started fighting games, man, I could have. We, we can, we can save it for the website. next one. We, we next, next talk. Um, we'll just bullet point that. And uh, hopefully we'll do, get to do another episode sometime soon. Yeah. All right. We'll uh, thanks everyone for joining in on the second one. If you have any, um, suggestions or anything just feel free to message ninja cw <laughs> yeah message me um, twitter facebook especially since i think he he's looking into getting uh the podcast or vidcast uh sponsored so we can look to see if we can get some cool custom graphics besides just a moving youtube stream yeah uh, that would be great <laughs> but thanks again everyone for for listening and uh hope to see you at the events and on the forums all right later All right. guys